afternoon. Welcome, Torgsters. Glad you're uh, back for episode three of Rain and Sin. We've added some new blood to the group, so I'm looking forward to seeing how everything shakes out this time. So I'd like the players to introduce themselves and their characters, starting with Frank. Oh, I'm a, a ram runner from Germany. That's easy because I'm also from Germany, so I don't have to fix the accent. Um, I made it, made him, made it look easy. He's looking like the picture, so I don't have to describe it. Um, and actually, right now, he's in big trouble, I presume. <laughs> So, going to the screen name, it's uh, Carolyn Kaluski. Uh, hi, um, my name is Jennifer. I will be playing Mara, uh, an elven warden of Isle. Uh, she's a dark-haired elven woman clad in green, uh, carries a longbow, and uh, is usually accompanied by her white wolf companion, uh, Scott. Uh, so named because he is always chasing things and never runs out of energy on a hunt. <laughs> Excellent. Simon? Uh, hi, I'm Simon. I'll be playing uh, Severin de Chardin, who is a rather uh, academic uh, and pasty faced uh, renegade cyber priest. Excellent. Last great poet. Hi, I'm John, and I'll be playing Timothy Windlethorpe uh, as a relic hunter from the British Museum of Antiquities. Excellent. Ampersands. Hey, I'm Jason, and I'm playing the uh, Adinos Optin Moonwalker that you might know from the book. Hmm. And uh, given that you have a uh, Nihil Empire background, uh, Mark T, can we take a guess at what your character is? Yeah, I'm playing a cyber priest. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Mark, and I'm playing a uh, Nihil Empire young vigilante whose name is Sekhmet. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So since we have some uh, new players and uh, some stuff's happened since we've been, we weren't streaming this previously, I'd like to do a previously on Rain and Sin, which should shift your, or you should see a number of characters on the Roll20 display, I hope. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So... Coos Bay, Oregon had a strange thing happen to it in that it was inside the living land boundaries. Now it's not. It's back in core earth territory. So the Delphi Council sent our storm knights to investigate why this had happened, uh, take a look at its suitability for a forward base, and to handle the situation they've heard about, which is that a uh, cyber papacy outpost has been established in Coos Bay and is helping the locals, which is causing a division in the town between those who are, you know, core earth loyalists, if you will, and those who just want help in any form they can get it. So the when you got off the boat from San Francisco, the group met Sheriff Ocampo, who introduced them to the sort of town, and immediately they got into a firefight with a sniper, took the sniper out, met their Delphi mission contact, who was Ambassador Ishana Scott. She's ambassador to the Elven Enclave that's a little bit outside of town. And she basically explained that the town is divided up into two camps. Her family is part of one camp, which is the Pro-Delphi Council. And the Morans are the uh, head of the other camp, which is get as many people as we can, get help from whoever we can, and the possibility wars are just not a thing. So... Uh, you went to Chief Three Spear to uh, sort of apologize and explain that the human assassin who'd been trying to kill the, an Adianos um, wasn't trying to start a war. Chief Three Spear is uh, unconvinced, but said if you would solve the other murders in town, that he'd consider that uh, an act of good faith. The other murders were caused by something savage. The word was demon. Uh, when you began to investigate, your investigation was interfered with with church police who are clearly working for Sister Exemplar Evangeline, who's head of the A Demission for Coos Bay. Uh, when you investigated further, you found that one of the victims had been pretty certain that there are two killers, both of supernatural origin. 
the first thing you track down was Mr. Asura, who forms as a shadow on the wall near graffiti that spells out wild rain and materializes out of this into a smoky top hatted demon. Uh, you had a conversation with him. Turns out he killed one of the victims who he thought had summoned him and he's been otherwise hiding out. You found there was a second source of evil, supernatural evil and slew that. But that source also claimed that there would be a demon who would come back looking a lot like your electric samurai. So uh, that one hasn't materialized yet. Um, next, to solve a food shortage, you join Tamara Moran's convoy out of town to go to a, a DNO's rest camp where the armies would stop and resupply with fruit in the area where human refugees are hiding out. Um, there's a little bit of tension because, again, Tamara's not on the Delphi Council side precisely. Um, there was a, a few sparks with the uh, Realm Runner. Uh, we'll see where that where that goes. When you got to the refugees, they you found that um, you'd been lied to. Uh, it says rather than bringing food back, the main thing was to bring back all the human refugees, which is the town's already short of food. But you agreed you'd let the human refugees go back because you couldn't leave them there as long as you stayed and tried to harvest the stuff. Lynn Bushman, who's the head of the refugees, explained they made a deal with another faction who had given them a, a truck or two, which when you looked at them were Nile Empire trucks. So you then went to an archaeological dig, met with Dr. Justina Fletcher, struck a deal for some uh, spare trucks because it turns out shock troopers don't last long in the living land <laughs> so they had spare vehicles um, got back harvested a bunch of food headed back to town and that's where you pick up now um there's also a count elliot swear who's the ellen count who will be introduced uh, a little bit later on because we've got an elven warden and she'll have the info on that when the time arrives so that's your summary we also had some troubles with uh, the Moran family and uh, killed some of the, their members, as far as I remember. <laughs> yeah, you killed. The sniper was a member. The, 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 yeah, the sniper was a member of the Moran clan. And we, I tried to apologize and uh, killed some more. Yeah, yeah things, yeah, things are a little tense between you and the Morans at the moment. And things are presumably tense between you and Sister Evangeline because you got rid of some of her cyber church police. Yeah, so uh, awesome. you're, wa you're, walking, uh, you're walking carefully around town. Um, <laughs> that's one of the differences with Reign and Sin and some of your uh, other tort campaigns is since Reign of Sin, you're establishing a base. You really can't walk away from your problems. You're going to have to figure out how to, how to smooth things over with some of the townspeople. I tried with a bouquet of flowers and uh, um, a romance card. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, you did. So anyway, the daily ritual for the Storm Knights who've been given their own house is Sheriff Ocampo shows up in the morning with coffee and donuts if they're available. This morning, there are no donuts. There's just Sheriff Ocampo and some coffee. He brings in and goes, uh, well, we appreciate you uh, bringing back those spare trucks. And, um, but uh, we got a couple of problems. First one, we have no idea what to do about. And the second one, we're hoping you can uh, give us help in the, in the short term. Because uh, we went on, we went on to the high school security cam, picked up this. Last night. So, uh, I don't know whether you got rid of the demon problem or what, but there's apparently another thing wandering around town. Only a few of us know about this one so far. It didn't do anything other than materialize near the high school. But we're, uh, we're worried that the killings are going to start again. So... Hopefully, you can stop that. And the other problem, more mundane, but definitely has tongues wagging, is 
Someone broke into Rosie's Cafe last night, took pretty much the entire town's coffee supply. That's a cause for war around these parts. It's one of the few chorus luxuries you managed to get in town. I promised Rosie that the Delphi Council would come and help her with their coffee problem. So if you could do that this morning, I would really, really appreciate it. Oh my God, who would take the coffee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I convinced her to get some out to you this morning. I figured you got to have it. If Stormites don't deserve coffee, nobody deserves coffee. And he, he takes one of the mugs himself and, of course, you know, some other folks. Mm. So, any questions you want to ask him before you wander off? Right, so what we've seen of the demon is literally that head, and it's just materialized. It's done nothing else. It materialized. It was there for like three quarters of a second, then moved off frame. That's that's all they have it, and they wouldn't have noticed it except that the kids are putting together some footage for a project and said, "Oop, hey, look, <laughs> this thing showed up sometime last night." How big was it? Had? Uh, I mean, they. It's probably a little larger than human. They don't have good scale on it because it just literally showed up in front of the camera. So it was probably a foot and a half away from the camera when it materialized. So you're it's looking right at it, and then it just stepped out of frame. Right. Has the school always been a school, Sheriff? <laughs> um, at least ever since I've been in town. Yeah, it was built when they consolidated the two smaller high schools. But that was about like 20 years ago. So it's been a while since it was separate. So oh, there's no kid in town who's gone to any other high school, that's for sure. And there haven't been any incidents with teachers bearing a grudge or difficulty with um, employment or anything like that. It's all very uh, common. We, we, have, we have a real shortage of teachers these days. Uh, we, had, we had some problems in the, early, in the early days when we were overrun by the living land. We lost, we lost a lot of stuff. So we're down to like one or two professionals. The rest are volunteers. We're just spitballing to keep the stuff together best we can. Do you have a doc? Do you have a doctor in town? Well, you've got the. We have a hospital that we're rebuilding. So we've got one. She was previously a hospital administrator, but she, she's got a medical degree. <laughs> so yeah, so. Yeah, we're, like I said, we don't have a lot of anything. And that's one of the reasons the coffee is sort of important to our folks. It's the one sign of regular life that we managed to keep going, and now it's gone. So they're, they're kind of upset. Given that its importance within the societal structure of this town, uh, was it kept securely? I mean, Rosie's probably as, other than our food warehouse, the most secure building in town. And she's always been paranoid. She's got alarm systems. Her doors are reinforced. It's certainly more secure than, like, what's left of the sheriff's department. I mean, we've got a back door we can't really lock. Hmm. All right. So I will then switch over to the Elven Warden. So you're in the Elven Enclave. The Enclave is, was established by Count Elliot Swear, which isn't his real name, but you do know that he's under a curse. Whatever he was previously was a really excellent commander of the Army of Light and in it for the glory. He received a curse that out of his direct presence, nobody can remember anything he did or who he really even is. He's like completely unknown. So you remember, you've got, he's Count Elitzweer. And once you leave his presence, that's all you can remember about him. You know from talking to the ambassador that he's setting up um, ancestor trees, which your elves used to worship 
I mean, way back in the day, they they don't do that so much anymore. But he came here to set up ancestor trees for some reason. But that too disappears from your memory whenever you're outside of his presence. So you're not sure what's going on in the Elven Enclave. Um, but Ambassador Scott is like, um, I, I know you're interested in just making a quick run into town to, to, to get your wolf. I'm sorry he got out again. We should have. I thought we had better. Uh, oh, it's better not your watching fault. That. <sighs> He's. We were impressed. He uh, he got over one gate, unlocked the second. We're not quite sure how he managed to to jiggle that thing free, but uh, yeah, he's out. He's always um, been far too clever for his own good. Yeah, but uh, um, we there's a Delphi Council Storm Knight delegation in town that I sponsored to bring here. Uh, my reports are things are rocky right now for them. Um, so I was wondering if perhaps you could lend some aid, give them a little more uh, nuance maybe, or just a different point of view. We're having it. it the, town is, the town is not embraced them the way I had hoped. And um, I'm thinking I'm, some I'm, new ideas might be able to help. Happy to help if I can. You say Rocky. Rocky in what way? What's going on? Um, Two-thirds of the town would like them kicked out. This isn't, this isn't the Hearts Seems. and Minds campaign that, that I'd hoped for. And I realize there have been... The worst of circumstances. I mean, that whole demon thing. I don't know. It's a, it seems that they could use a little more help because we can't we can't have this go south. If if they turn against us, there's no way we're keeping a base here, and there's no way we're going to give this over to the cyber papacy. There's, that just cannot happen. I mean, I don't know that the townsfolk will respond to me any better than to uh, well, we we do I'm know we do, do know can. that yeah, i I can tell you that the church, the cyber church, has absolutely no love for elves, but the townspeople seem to like you. This, I think, is an opportunity to both improve your standing with the townspeople and to perhaps drive a wedge with the cyber church. Once the townspeople see how intolerant they are, I think they won't see them as saviors. That's my hope anyway. I'll see what I can do. If, if nothing else, then uh, Scott can look cute and <laughs> maybe win yeah. some friends. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you have a problem finding him. Just look for the crowd of people. I'm sure he'll be there. Yes, All right. I'm sure. So, so you can start heading into town, and I switch back to: Are you investigating the coffee or investigating the murder first? My second suggestion will be, uh, my friends. I think, in the matter of hearts and minds, strangely, coffee in the day is uh, rather more pressing than demons at night. I would suggest we investigate the robbery first. The sheriff of Capo's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When she runs out of coffee, I I know the calls to, to my department are going up. It's just going to happen. Right. Yeah. Mor Moral is more important than a possible uh, enemy. All right. Yeah. I, so I, I, true, uh, I'm true that. Yeah. Let's go for the coffee. So the Storm Knight vehicle is now one of the Nile Empire deuce and a halfs that you requisitioned so you've got this big honking lumbering beast uh no one no one gives it any it pays you any attention when you go into town because at this point it's like oh it's the storm knights in a yet another vehicle <laughs> so you pull up to rosie's cafe uh there are two crowds distinct crowds in front of rosie's cafe one is yelling about the coffee the other is surrounding this 
gorgeous animal and feeding it all sorts of treats. And there, so you've got the, the young crowd with the, with the wolf, and you've got the people upset about the coffee. And Rosie's out among them, too, and she's yelling at a sheriff's deputy. Yeah, it's obvious who took it. It's obvious who took it. Look, look at the claw marks on the window. Look at the spread. That's a Dionos marks. Those are a Dionos marks. They stole the coffee. You've got a few Dionos in the crowd just kind of like, what? Huh? No. And a bunch of agitated townsfolk. So what are you guys doing? Um, do a Dionos even like coffee? Um, there are a few Dionos like to move fast. Caffeine okay. helps you move fast. It's, sure. it's just fine. They're not... They look at strictly as a performance enhancing you know, drug, yeah. basically. They understand they understand that humans have a ritual around it. They don't care. Yeah. You know, just take the pot. They're done. They're happy. A new, it's a new experience for Lanalo. For Lanalo. Also, it's delicious. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's, it's tasty. So in an out character sense, are any of us charismatic and persuasive? Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll weigh in with an eight to start with. Yeah, well, no, you could just much. okay. There's probably a lot you could. There's probably a lot you could solve by talking before you even have to touch the dice. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. It's yeah. more. I don't want to step on anybody's character okay. niche. No. Um, oh, well, in, in that case, since there is an angry crowd, um. Uh, I will, you know, gently uh, weave my way through uh, and um, simply start uh, calmly with a, my friends, perhaps we could examine and assist you uh, before we start throwing around uh, accusations uh, that may raise the temperature. Let us see if we can help you. And this troublemaker in the crowd goes, by assist, is that Storm Knight code for kill one of us? <laughs> Well, well I, I certainly hope not. That's first. not our intent. Oh. It was an accident, and he shot first. Yeah, and the, you know, they're coming. Yeah, he, 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 come on. He, Dusty shot first. We, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, they didn't have to. So that redirects the argument for a while. So do you want to let them continue to bicker and while you talk to Rosie, or do you want to intervene in their bickering about the shooting? Distraction. <laughs> it's like... I'm happy to move myself out of the scene in the investigation to keep them slightly off, but calm it down a little bit, if that makes sense. Okay. I'd like to, I'd like to do some evidence analysis on that uh, claw marks. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll that, sir. Your DN is a 10. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> that would be easy if I could roll a good number. Road yeah. doesn't like me, uh, but I've got cards. Um, okay. Got no cards that give me a bonus, but I've got an alertness. Okay. Uh, these are 100% a DNOS claw marks. Okay. Absolutely. Wasted. But what you, you played alertness, which also means, but what's weird is this is the, this is the, window that they went in they went into the window not the door and they had to removed a barred window which they removed and then put back oh um That's which seemed room. yeah not not normal adino's behavior yeah. so and then uh, so you're gonna ask so what do you want to say to rosie or but but we met a, 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 a Edinos with uh, some technical aptitude. He was uh, riding a bike. Yeah, motorcycle Edinos. Yeah. Yeah, but you haven't uh, seen that one. No. Only from, a, from from far away. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so about this time, the warden makes it to town. You walk along the waterfront. You know that. Humans congregate where their artificial lightning still works because they put high value in having all their devices run. And apparently artificial lightning is important for that. And so you know the waterfronts from the last areas, they still have that. And as you, 
you can tell it like, oh, look, there's a crowd. They have bags. They're pulling stuff out of the bags. In the center of that group must be a wolf. Just <laughs> has to be. <laughs> he certainly likes the attention. Yeah. So I just, you wander up and there's people like, do you want another one? Do you want another one? I mean, so you're well, I have to see if you will stand at the me. edge of the circle and uh, simply call uh, for him to come to her. <laughs> so basically, yeah, you got one of this. He's like, <laughs> like covering up paw, paw and muzzle. But don't see me. You don't see me. You don't. Ah, uh, she saw me. <laughs> so stands at attention. Has that guilty, uh, guilty look on his face. She will walk up beside him and give him just a, a slightly stern look. <laughs> She's not going to actually say anything that's too much of a reprimand, but she will give him a, a little bit of a look and say, well, you've certainly look. been wandering, haven't you? Have you found some new friends? <laughs> She'll sort of and look there's... around at the people surrounding him. Yeah, there's one one young girl who goes, we, we, we helped him. We helped him. He came in all limping, but when we fed him potato chips, it got all better. Well, thank you very much for helping him. He, he, See, he, likes he can help. walk he normally likes... now. He couldn't before we fed him. I assume this is normal behavior when he's trying to get uh, out of character. I assume he, this he's, is normal behavior he's when he's trying to get <laughs> He's he's learning new stupid human tricks. He's found more and more ways to get humans to give him stuff that he wants. He's he's quite clever that way. All right. Well, I will thank the little girl uh, for helping him, and I will ask what her name is. I'm Wendy. I basically I go to school, but they have me out one of those little small buildings because they don't want me in with the big kids. There are like three of us little kids well. out there. Well, I'm sure you'll move into a different place when you're a little bit older. Mm. Um, yeah, that's what my mom says. Your mom's probably right, you know. Sure. All right. Um, who else is sort of around? Bye, Benji. Bye. Hmm? Who else is sort of around? Basically, uh, these look like mostly high school kids and younger surrounded the wolf. Over on the other side, there's another crowd, and that has to be a Storm Knight group. <laughs> Nobody dressed like that wanders around, and you don't. There's there's one guy who's got, you know, tights and a mask are not effective armor, but definitely got that going on. And like, okay, the idea knows that that makes sense for around here. The the guy in the sort of leather coat, eh, maybe not so much. You've got another person who looks um, scholarly, and one who just looks like they have been in trouble their entire life and don't care. Okay. Um, well, and they're will... currently examining a window. Okay. Uh, she will kneel down and thank Wendy again for taking care of her wolf uh, and doing yeah. such a good job of helping him. Uh, and then she will say that um, uh, hopefully she'll see Wendy around uh, sometime soon and uh, she can play with the wolf more later. But <laughs> uh, Scott needs to come with me for now because um, he's going to help do some important things. Um, try and figure out what's going on because it seems like there's been some trouble. And then she's going. Yeah, to there's a lot of trouble around here. I'm not allowed to go out at night at all. That oh. didn't used to be true. Why aren't you allowed to go out at night, Wendy? Sister Evangeline says it's too dangerous. My mom listens to everything Sister Evangeline says. It's like meow, 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 meow. Yeah, what sort of things does Sister Evangeline say? I don't listen to Sister Evangeline. My mom does. She prattles okay. all about, all about Malro this, Malro that, damnation and fire and demons and the net. I mean, come on! I'd rather feed a wolf. 
The wolf's probably far more interesting. Yes. <laughs> oh, you bet. Uh, um, can I ask her what her mom's name is? Just out of curiosity. Oops. I'll have to look that one up. <laughs> Dorothy Alcott. Not that it matters. Oh, right. that and then she will matters. thank Wendy again, and she will wander over to the other crowd <laughs> um, and introduce herself to, well, who is standing around looking at this window? Um, I think the scholarly looking fellow is slightly off, trying to just kind of calm things down a little bit and have what looks like a reasonable conversation with people. But as he turns, you will see that he has a cybernetic eye. Okay, she'll probably start with the, the guy who looks slightly more scholarly then and wander over um, and and sort of just wait for a gap in the conversation. Um, that will, he will engineer that quite quickly then, um, because Greg, I don't know how um, the previous Stormlight reputation is working in, t in terms of our shoot first and ask questions later kind of attitude, but I... I'm not going to assume it's going terribly well, but um, as soon as it's, you know, it's also he's... it's also not going terribly badly because okay. the what the real Stormlight problem is most of the stuff that's been visible to the public has not been so good. The stuff mm -hmm. that's happened when the public isn't around has been very beneficial to the town. So you're running against type by just talking to them. In other words, sure. you're not the shit sure. for shoot first monsters that everybody's told that you've been. So you're just sitting there talking to them, which seems entirely reasonable. I have so, to yeah. clarify, I didn't shoot first and ask questions later. I wanted it's all to about, ask it's all about the optics. Right? It's all about the optics. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so, yeah. exactly. you know, pretty much, you know, within a couple of conversational beats of, of, of seeing you there, um, he will kind of open up uh, the conversation and go, hello, um, I'm... Severin uh, de Chardin. We've not met. Uh, lovely to meet you. Uh, my name's Mara. Um, uh, are you for, are you one of the Storm Knights with the Delphi Council? Yes, and I, I can tell quite clearly that um, he makes a socially awkward gesture at the sort of ear height. <laughs> uh, Ambassador right. Ishwana sent me to... Uh, to speak with you guys and perhaps give you a little bit of a hand if you if you feel you could use one i uh, looking around crowds coffee shop I, I think we probably could um looks down at the extremely uh, for sure it's fairly large and remarkable uh wolf and says and uh, well your timing might be extremely apposite um oh, we have a oh yes this is scott I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Scut oh, this is Scutler. Scutler. Ah. He, he, he's named after one of one of your old stories. She sort of vaguely gestures. Um, he likes chasing things. Ah, I see. Well, we have a coffee thief, he says, gesturing over um, to where the others are. Um, so perhaps um, you may be the very thing that we need. Do I know what coffee is? <laughs> As an elf. Yes. Okay. So you'll have, you'll have to either exp explain coffee or. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh. Um, if there's the slightest look of puzzlement on on Mara's face, there, there's a um, little bit of a puzzled look. Yes. Uh, he will uh, lean in a little conspiratorially and say, "It's a uh, beverage that's very popular." on earth, which they absolutely murder and adulter adulterize here in America. But they think it's fine. It's very important to the just town. Raised an eyebrow. It's very important to the town. Right. It's a luxury. OK. And you say it's disappeared? It would appear so. Um, let us join the others. And we'll we'll let, wander over we, Shall we head over to them? So the townspeople are giving you quite a bit of breathing room now. It's like things have calmed down. And so all you've got is the proprietor, Rosie, who's still hot. Uh, so, so are you going to, are you just going to go over to the Blue Water tribe? I mean, they've got a smell like coffee still at this point. Go arrest somebody. 
Mara will gesture for um, her wolf to sort of follow along uh, as as we head over to this window. All right. Um, and just take a look. Are there any sort of tracks or any sort of markings outside the window leading away? Or near the door, for that matter? You could make a tracking roll. Sure. Can I support uh, as a combined action? Because I've got favored find because of the cybernetic eye. Yes. Okay. Yes, you may. Right. All right, so that's, you know. <laughs> that's not a success, but it's favored, so I'll roll again. It's only a support, so. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, so that's a plus one then? I think All so. Right. Yeah. Okay. I will try that again since the tracking is favored for her. Yeah. That's the ah. eleven. So you're a decent enough tracker to know that there had been tracks here that were then erased. Somebody knew enough to get rid of their tracks. But if you follow it about 15, 20 meters away in an arc, you can see the tracks again. Can we find so, out how, how the tracks were erased? <clears throat> Basically, just uh, not on 11. You can't know how the tracks were erased, but yeah. Can I make Netherlands 11 instead? Sure, you may. You're looking for a 12. And this again isn't typical oh, Venus one shot. behavior, is it? No, it is not. I um, I could trade you a card. I have an action in oh. available if you'd like yeah. to trade for it. What do you want? Supporter, opponent, face, drama? <laughs> uh, whatever you want to give me. Uh, any of those is fine. Uh, uh, all good. <laughs> I'll give you the drama. Thank you. So, I'll play the action to get a better result. It's a 14 then. All right. You are guessing that this was initially smudged by a tail and then something else, like more instrumentationally, more technologi technologically advanced than a tail, sort of got rid of some additional stuff. You're not quite sure what that was. Okay. And then if you follow the tracks enough, you get to about 20 meters away, you can pick up motorcycle tracks. Looks like the dinosaurs we, the, uh, you, we have seen, the, the dinosaurs on the bike. I, hmm. A friend Moonwalker, this is unusual. Perhaps they have transformed? That is my suspicion, yes. This is incredibly unusual. Things tend to transform in very un um, unseen ways uh, around here. Yes, there there are mixtures here that don't appear much of anywhere. It's been a very odd place. There are a lot of cosms swirling around this town. And um, this is, well, I shall let you introduce yourself again, making space uh, for Mara. Oh, yes. Um, uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Mara. Uh, Ambassador uh, Ishwana sent me. Um, I understand you've have been having a little bit of trouble with with the locals. Um, she sent me to see if I could give you a hand. I, I gather you're investigating some sort of disappearance of something the townsfolk find quite precious. If you have any diplomatic inclination, it would be quite welcome because everything we tried uh, failed miserably. <laughs> Uh, she will look down for a second and smile very slightly and say, well, uh, I cannot say that I am always the most diplomatic, but the townsfolk do seem to like, and she will sort of gesture <laughs> to the wolf, <laughs> uh, who is a very large white wolf, 
is hopefully sitting next to her. I don't know if he's actually sitting oh. next to her. <laughs> um, Was, is this your friend? Uh, yes, this is, this is my companion, uh, Scott. Um, uh, he, he's, he's discovered that um, the townsfolk will give him many things if he looks pleadingly at them. <laughs> Uh, given the dire straits of our popularity, I think any reflected uh, glory will be uh, very welcome. Um, so that you are clear, uh, Mara, this is not the only problem that we face. There is um, an image of what is presumably a demon has been caught uh, upon uh, one of the cameras, uh, one of the things that make images uh, of the I'm, local high school. But we I'm, have decided I'm, to I'm, do this first. I, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to interrupt. You, because there's a bullet whizzing past your ear, Mr. Cyberpriest. Okay. And, and it's, I'm not through yet. It's a standard encounter, so the villains get to go first. So. Whee. Dang. I need the proof. That's a hit if it's just dodge. It's just dodge. Yep. And then I fire at the elf. I go fire at the realm runner. Oh, it's not good. Make an active, active dodge. Because I don't want to get killed. You may make you may make an an active dodge. Yeah, uh, is fourteen enough, or uh, do I have to be higher than the attacker? You have to be higher because he just has to match your defense. Uh, okay. Hmm. There goes a the possibility. Last drill was a seventeen. All right. So you're good. They missed you. <clears throat> the, I did. I did plug the. I I did not get the. The uh, elf correct because your uh, dodge, dodge is fourteen, is I believe. 12. Oh, 12. then I just nicked you. I just nicked you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I said, Who? Okay. So what's your toughness? Uh, eight. Okay. So, yeah, you take you take a big two shock. Oh. That's it. Okay. And then after the... Taking it. <laughs> and myself? Oh. oh! Oh! Ow! So what's your toughness? Is that me? Hmm? Yep. Okay. Uh, my toughness is grand nine. Well, <clears throat> okay. That that's uh, that's that's four wounds and <laughs> and uh, I'm no, sorry, <laughs> two wounds and four shock. Well, he was caught two entirely by shock. surprise. Um, so we've got three possibilities each. Yes. Yes. Cool. Uh, I will spend a possibility and attempt to soak. Okay. Shift the outcome of this carnage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's um, one of them gone, I guess. Yep. So, two wounds? Yep, so you've got one wound left. <laughs> and no shot. Okay, so I think that hits him in the head as he's talking to Mahara, and he barely yeah. snaps his head out of the way uh, in time. Yeah. Uh, four shock as well, I think. Oh, no, all the shock's no, gone. No, shock's gone away when you recover. Cool. Okay. Okay, that's, that's she their hits round. The ground. Yeah, that that's their round. So, what are you? What are the good guys doing? I've already done um, something. I made an active dodge and I took a card for. Right. Dodge is approved. All right. I'm um, I'm going to quickly click cast strike on segment shield. Yeah. Okay. Before you go, sorry. I was like, <laughs> let me do the thing. You're going to appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Ten. All right, uh, plus one to the damage of the shield. 
Okay. Excellent. Next. Oh, okay, so is Rosie next near us? Yeah, Rosie basically is standing there and like bullets, you know, hit you guys. They're not aimed at her, but she's like, whoa, you see her start to bolt for going back inside the coffee shop. Yeah, I'm going to defend her with my Eternium shield. Okay, so you're covering her up. Yeah. Okay, all right. What else are people doing? I'm going to return fire. Okay. You're not quite sure where the fire's coming from. It's coming from above, so you guess some a rooftop of an adjoining building. But you don't see anybody shooting. So uh, you can make a fine roll. You, you can do a fine roll as part of a multi-action if you want to shoot what you hit, or you could just do a find. Uh, let's just do a find and see. Okay. I should have I kept my alertness card. I don't see it yet. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Well, that's not pretty. Yeah, so are you just go going to live with that since trying to elevate that's a yeah, rough I'll, go? Or... Yeah. You're, you're pretty sure just from you know where the bullets are hitting and whizzing by it, it has to be coming from the rooftop. So you know that much, but that's that's all you know right now. Okay. Uh, Warden? I can go next. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm rolling around on the ground. Um, oh, Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed, and I shall cast heal upon myself. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, I'm going to spend a possibility on that. That's not enough. So. Okay, so that's a good success, which is two wounds healed. Uh, and at that point, I'll kind of try and roll towards some level of cover, maybe inside the building. All right, so you're heading towards inside the building also? Yep. So you're going to zip around, zip around the... A slight the... golden light still emanating from his creased skull. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about the... I am also... Okay, go ahead, Warden. I am also looking to where where that came from, um, if I can. Okay. Um, and probably also moving, not necessarily into the building, but at least behind a corner of it, um, potentially, to get some cover. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, there's... I mean, you're about... You're about six steps from an alley, so you can duck in there. Um, I will spend a possibility on that. Uh, well, that is a 23 uh, with a roll of 53 so far. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you, you're not sure how they're accomplishing this illusion. But the church police are obviously doing some sort of illusion that you can see it shift a little bit. They're behind something that brings the image behind them forward, concealing their appearance. So you can say, there's one there, one there, one there. And yeah, they look heavily armored and they've got those, those large glowing stick things that the cyber church likes to use. We'll point these out to, or point this out to the rest of the group as she dives for cover. Yeah, that's, <laughs> and, that's and good she will also, can... And she will gesture to um, Scotland to do the same. You know, get behind a building or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. Closer to victory. You guys get to go first, which is very unfortunate for them. Maneuver is favored. Um... If I can, I can I go first because I've got leadership, so it might help. Um, it, if it's obvious that Mara has kind of spotted where they yeah, are, yeah, she she's really precise. Then she sort of draws the outline of a thing that's obscuring them. 
So they've got like a two meter by two meter thing that's obscuring each of them. All right. Um, Say, uh, those of you who who are (laughs) strong at range, perhaps, Perhaps uh, follow the uh, Mara's lead. Uh, I'll play leadership, uh, and I've got a coup de grace and a flurry to give out. Cool. So, um, I like the coup de grace because I think I'm gonna shoot at it. Okay, so um, uh, Mara for the flurry. Uh, Sure. (laughs) Okay, and. The coup de grace out there as well. You just grab them off the deck. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, they go through. Huh. Yeah, you get the crowd scattering. They're like, what? It's shooting and it's not them? Somebody else is shooting? What's going on? Run! Um, Run! And- that's just the card. So since we're all somewhat uh, together, uh, I sh- again, uh, he's now got his hand upon his cross, uh, and he says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round them that fear him and delivereth them. Uh, and I will cast Bless on. All right. Uh, our targeting decks um, for anybody who, who's nearby and got a uh, ranged weapon. Well, basically, anybody who's nearby. Uh, bless. Nice. I think my field goes. Dear me. Uh, he is still shaky uh, from uh, the, the head wound, stumbles over the words, uh, and does not bring down the power of God in, in the right way, sadly to say. But, but, the, but the timber of your voice shows conviction, so. Oh, absolutely. That, there's that. <laughs> okay, next. Who wants to go next? Okay, I'd like to. Um, so we know there's an, an illusion or something there. Yeah. Um, we don't yet know if it's like a solid wall that they can shoot through or. Yeah, I'm going to throw my shields just towards the shimmering. Okay. One Yep. So. So they're 15 meters away. So what's the range on your shield? Uh, mate, range on the shield is. Uh, yeah, max 15. Okay, there you go. All right, let's go for it. And it is missile weapon. Oh, oh, that's not great. Yep. So you're just going to accept that this this wasn't your turn, or are you going to try to do yeah, you know what? I've got possibilities. Let's do it. Uh, so, last roll of six. Oh. Yep, yeah, last roll of six. Ah, oh, 14. Okay, so you don't hit the, the Cyber Church Expeditionary Force guy, but you do hit that shimmering, and it smashes, and it sounds like breaking glass. And you can Absolutely. see the guy, the church police in heavy armor with some sort of like laser carbine uh, pointed at you, your direction. When you hear that sound, the cyber, the cyber priest knows, oh, wait, they're using hard light. They've got some sort of hard light projector that's projecting what's behind them to in front of them. And then it's giving them their cover and making them hard to spot. So you got one who's just naked and out on the, out on the roof who's easy to see. You got two who are still concealed behind cover. Over here. Catch a shield. Shout that out. Yeah. <laughs> All strike right. strike the uh hard the illusionary protections. It will reveal them. I will take shots at uh the two remaining illusionary projections. Both of them you're gonna do uh Yeah, I'll do a multi. Doing multi and uh you've got like double tap or something, don't you? Also uh, No, I have two guns, but I don't have anything special. Okay, I couldn't remember. All right, I thought you did, but I'm wrong. So go ahead and do that multi-action on those two shields. Ah! Well, geez. All right, let's go ability at this. Roll20 does not like us today. Yeah. 
They like they liked they've liked a find roll and my bad guy shots. It's the only thing roll twenty is like today. Um, I I can see one of those guys, right? Yep, you can see one. So, so but the you got a twelve. Okay, so the Rack Raider has has hit both shields. So roll. So what's your damage? No bonus. Damage is thirteen. Okay, those are the other two shields gone. So now all three are exposed. Oh, okay. Oof. I'll cast strike on uh, Mara's bow if you haven't gone yet. Uh, no, I haven't. What does she that do? Not gone yet. Uh, it increases its damage. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, plus three damage to the bow for three rounds. Woo! That's a good, a good roll. All right. All right. I will fire at one of them. Um, let's just start with one of them. Uh, yeah. And then I'll potentially play a flurry and try and do the other one. But um, she will get her bow and try and fire at one of them. Okay. That is an 18 to hit. Ha! Ah. <laughs> well, well, that would be a yes. <laughs> that would be that would be a extra bonus die for you. Almost, almost two extra bonus dies. So there's going to be an additional three to this. this? Okay, so twenty-one damage. The strike. Oof. Oof. Okay, you have two, two big cyber police to face. <laughs> yeah, that just. It looks like the armor doesn't even matter to your, which is surprising. It just, it just, it didn't hit the cracks. It flat out went through it, which is not something your arrows normally do. It's just slice through. I will flurry after everybody else has gone, if any of them are still up. Okay. <laughs> they might not be. So I'm going to make a multi-action a maneuver uh, to get um, in the back. Uh, or, or on the flank, and I shoot one. Okay. Uh, so multi-action is done with attribute. Modifier minus two. What minimum skill quality used in this action? Oh. Okay, I don't, I, I don't understand how multi-action works here. Um, I'm doing fire combat and uh Yeah, just just modify your roll by minus yeah. two. That's easier. Yeah. Uh, because I just re uh heard that you can use the attribute on the character sheet, but I don't know how that works. <laughs> oh you just click if you just click the skill. You yeah, know, I, know. The name. I know, but for multi action you could could some way use uh, the word attribute and click it, but I can figure out how that works. Oh, okay. That was new for me. So I take a possibility. So, so I get a plus eight bonus. Uh, so if, call it a plus. Sorry? So you had good. So you got plus eight on your fire combat. Yeah, I've got a fifteen on fire combat and fourteen on maneuver. Okay, that's a bonus die, and they are maneuvered. So are you making stymeter vulnerable? Um, stam is better. Okay, so roll the bonus die on the one church yeah. cop. One bonus die. Oh, <laughs> not much. It's a one, so fourteen. Okay, well that's still good enough. So <laughs> he's toast. He no. falls over. Yeah, one church cop left. On his turn, are you, are you going to flurry then and try to take him down? If everyone else has gone, then yeah, sure. I believe everyone else has gone, correct? Yep. Yep. All okay. right. Uh, I will try that again. Um, if I want to take a called shot in the sense of making it non-lethal, if possible, so that we could potentially question him later. Is that a thing I can do? It, it absolutely is. 
So is that a minus four? Yes. It uh, should be, in this case, a minus two, I believe. Okay. So, because you're not going for increased damage, you're just going for a general effect. And if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself later and slap myself on the wrist. <laughs> uh, that is a one. That does not go to plan. That does not. Everybody has a second chance card out. You can take my second chance. No problem. Uh, do you want an Inspire? Yeah, sure. Take it. Okay, I will play a second chance and try that again, and I hope Roll20 likes me better this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, better is a relative term. <laughs> yes, I mean, <laughs> relative is the key word. Um, seven hit. Does the seven? Seven hit? does not hit. No, you're you're looking you're looking for a nine. Okay, um, I'll spend a possibility. All right, that's an eighteen now. Oh, so close. Okay. Go whack him with an extra bonus die. I, I think he's he's probably going to go, uh, go unconscious really soon. Before the, this is ended, um, I play the Inspire uh, because I want the possibility that it gives. <laughs> All right. 17 damage. Yeah. Or 20. Yeah, he's out. He's out. Nice. So everybody can take a possibility or a destiny card or recover through shock if that's in any way relevant. Yeah, I think the combat's over, so the shock isn't going to matter. But <laughs> so just either grab a grab a card or take a possibility. I would think at this point the possibility is more useful. But hey, cool. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you now have a perfectly empty boardwalk along along the shore <laughs> and <laughs> a cowering coffee house owner cowering behind the the shelf in her in her store and uh an unconscious church cop on a roof why does every time i visit this town somebody shoot at us i know maybe there's some kind of correlation there you yeah. do seem to make quite a lot of enemies <laughs> That's what, what I want, wanted to insinuate. Yeah. <laughs> what about interrogating the uh, the attacker and finding out just why they did that? Yeah, you can go up. You can go up and grab him off the roof, bring him down into the alley next to the next to the store across. Yep. He's, whilst they're he's, hmm? sorry. Go ahead. Whilst whilst they're doing that, um, just check on Rosie and say, "Are you all right? Are you injured?" Uh, and again. Just, you know, act like a human being to her, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, uh, I guess, I, I, I get, yeah, I mean, I can get more coffee later. This is crazy. Um, if you have tea, possibly a hot drink will, will, will do you good. Um, <laughs> I, I have, I have got like half a bottle of rum. That's what I got left. I'll, oh, I'll pick some of that up. But thanks. Okay. Yeah. But if you could, you know, also, the Dinos messed up my alarm system. Look at that. So, if you could really go to their camp and, and get this taken care of, I would. I would appreciate it. I will absolutely sure. look into this. I'm sure hey, those, I'm sure it hasn't been done by the Dinos from the camp. She she looks utterly unconvinced. <laughs> like, they, don't, they don't have a clue uh, about anything technical. Uh, your alarm system is much too advanced for them. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll give you that when they tried to figure out how my coffee pot worked, that I ended up having to rewire it. Mm -hmm. So may maybe you got a point, but uh, those claws are doing So either, he's, either they're working with an accomplice who knew my alarm system, or you got an DNOs who can you know, disarm an alarm system. Either way, an Adenos is involved. So, 
and brew, find that one. And brew a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a so meanwhile, meanwhile, you've got this cyber cop in the alley. I will happily intimidate this guy once it comes <laughs> to shake him. <laughs> Go ahead. He's he's already vulnerable when he wakes up because he's just like, what the heck just happened? And go ahead and make your intimidation roll. Uh, We've got ten. a white wolf. <laughs> wolf that could help you intimidate him. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yes, I can get uh, Scotland to stand over him and growl in his face when he wakes up. Yes, we could do that. Okay, we'll, we'll assume that's a supporting roll, and you're going to try to get additional bonuses then. You're going to have him roll for intimidate? Sure. Oh, all right, let me go get the wolf. I'll just stand there looking menacing. <laughs> to help okay. as well. With my seven intimidate. Ooh, here we go. Oh, yeah. That was actually a pretty good roll. Cool. He's got four because of his position. <laughs> White Wolf is far better in intimidation. Yeah. Okay, so you've got one, two, three. So you've got a total at this point of of thirteen, Moonwalker. So yeah, he's cowed. You didn't start it hasn't been a good day so far. And he, he mutters something in French that the uh Cyber Priest catches. He just said, Never suffer a witch to live. What? Humans have too many languages. <laughs> but only a why few why did you attack you... us? Did you translate this for us? Yes. I, 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 whilst that's going on, I will kind of whisper to everybody else. I'm curious. Oh, you know this one. Great. Fantastic. What, so, what do they mean by that? <laughs> Who are you accusing of witchcraft? The elves. They're witches. Ah, oh, so it's racism. Okay. <laughs> the cyber church? Racist? What? No. <laughs> Besides, who do you think you are, priest? You're a heretic. I am one who knows that God is love and not hate. <sighs> is that your sole God reason for attacking us? God is Maro. Well, we've been heh, we've been following you for a little bit, and the sister asked us to tidy up the town. We know what that means. Evangeline. Yes, the exemplar, sister exemplar Evangeline. Mm. She asked us to tidy up the town. So as I recall, tidy she was quite town. friendly to, uh, last time we visited her. You haven't what? actually visited Evangeline yet. It didn't have not seen her. You've not because you after you killed the cyber church police the last time, you decided that talking to her might not I, be your best. Yeah. Best. I recall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to go to her, but uh then yeah. we had some accidents. <laughs> oh, we are not the authorities here, but the sheriff is. I would suggest that we turn this uh, miscreant who is uh open fire upon a crowd of townsfolk um, indiscriminately. Okay. Um, hang on, hey, Sheriff, let, let, yeah. let, let that uh, get into the public domain. Yeah. You folks do have walkie-talkies that connect on the Sheriff's bandwidth that you were given when you when you first came to town, so you can you know, use that to contact him. It's the, you know, As long as you're within you know, a kilometer of the Sheriff's Department, beyond that, the contradiction kind of makes it fall over. Okay. But you're fine. Yeah, I mean, so if everybody is okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. They Ocampo is a good man. Yeah. So Ocampo uh, picks uh, up. Do that. Oh, go ahead. Finish your thought. Oh, there uh, has been. So yeah, I thought like they really just used their like sneaky tactics to get him out anyway. So yeah. So Ocampo picks up and goes. So, uh, how's it going with the coffee? Hmm. 
adequately. Um, there has, however, been an incident, which I'm sure you would have heard of quite soon, which is... Um, I, heard, I heard gunshots. Mm. I'm guessing that came from your direction? Uh, towards us rather than from us, to be fair. Um, however, oh, that, um, that's that's good. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> the uh, perpetrator is with us now. If you'd care to take them into custody, that would be brilliant. Um, have you identified the perp? Yes. Um, they work for Sister Evangeline. And you hear like just loud clap <laughs> that comes over the walkie. He's like, "I'll be right there. I'm going to be bringing the sirens." So. It does. It takes about five minutes later. He comes in screaming in on the sirens are burning, the lights are going. So the townspeople sort of come back out in the street to see what's happening. And Ocampo, who's this large uh, Filipino man, gets out and hauls up the church police guy. And says, You're under arrest. And so they're like, arrest? They're arresting one of Sister Evangeline's people? Yeah. So he Mirandizes him stuffs them into the back of his truck and looks happy for the first time in like three or four days that you've seen him. <laughs> He's like, mm. we'll inform him that there are two probably dead guys up there or dead uh, church police up there. Yeah. And he like stage whiffers. I'll get him when the crowd disperses. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, so uh, by the way, we found a body this morning. Seems that uh, demon thing did pay a visit to somebody. I can get you details later. We'll just finish this up. So, guess the car drives with his drives with his prisoner. If it's possible to be seen shaking the sheriff's hand before he goes, he's be he's all into the political theater because he's been worried about the cyber papal agents. He's more aligned with the Scots who are also worried about the cyber papal agents, but they've had, they've been nothing but helpful as far as they could tell. Like I said, when you guys killed the cyber cops, that wasn't in front of the townspeople. They have no idea what happened. So this is the first instance that maybe the church police are not entirely helpful. So yeah, he'll shake your hand and he'll say, yeah, we'll be getting uh, news out to the Scots. He, you're bringing law and order back to this town. Really appreciate your help. Uh, Delphi Council's been good to this town. He figured if he keeps shouting, he'll get laryngitis soon. So he decides to stuff the guy into his car at that point. And wave to the people on the street. Just thanks. Seriously. This is this has been creepy. He takes his prisoner off to jail. Why the church is not gonna take that line down. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Yeah, you're up. You're up to seven. Your body counts up to seven. Eventually, they're gonna figure out you guys are dangerous. Se seven, you know, <laughs> runs his hand over the, the, the laser scorch mark over his temple. Says, <laughs> "I don't see how things could possibly get any worse." <laughs> yeah. Is any, is anybody wounded still? Nope. No. Okay. I know how things can get worse. Um, I still have to go to the doctor, to the hospital. There are some um, minor medical issues from last game left untouched. Oh, you still you still wounded? No, uh, I touched this living metal. Oh yes, <laughs> right. <clears throat> yes, I, I was worried all the time you might remember it, so I thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> yeah, so we, you can you can visit the hospital in in just a second. Let me just go grab this. Roll twenty. Roll twenty is definitely not my friend today. <laughs> it's like, please uh, come on, roll twenty. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just trying a... to. Go ahead. Sorry. We should perhaps uh, have a quick look at the bodies of the other two cyber police and see if they have any sort yeah. of. Papers, or I'm sure they probably, uh, I don't know what they carry with them. Let's see if they have any identifying or useful uh, paperwork on them. Anything else? That's an excellent okay. idea. Okay. Cool. They, they've got data chips, which your priest has a chance of decoding. Yep. Or anyone else with a programming skills got a chance of decoding. 
Mara um, looks completely confused and hands them to somebody else. Going, <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is useful. Yeah, hand them to the priest. Their their weapons are DNA coded, so that doesn't that doesn't help you. But uh, go ahead. Um, yeah, un unfolding a, a a strange, slightly lit up uh, neon keyboard. Um, uh, Severin will plug uh, the data chips in and says. Um, they use very um, complex encryption. This may or may not work, uh, and will attempt to uh, decrypt them, uh, which is a favored computer's test, I believe. Yep. That's probably not enough, so might as well have another go. Mm, I'm not hopeful about this, to be honest. It seems that their security is... Uh, Extremely good as the, the, the whole as the whole keyboard just folds itself up of its own accord. Yeah, basically, you discover as you're going through that you know you're, you realize oh you made a mistake. So you're going back and trying to redo the syntax, and then the chip starts responding to you way to know that it's still a live node for the Godnet. At which point you go, nope, boop. <laughs> yeah, we're not not gonna do that. So yeah. <laughs> they've got some transmission point pretty close by. This is a cyber papal mixed area because they have the, this is not core earth anymore. This is a cyber papal region right in the downtown area, which is one of the reasons technology works just fine here. So they probably have some sort of mobile transmitter, but uh, this confirms it. Relay, really, really, explain that. They have a communications points here, a, a watchtower, if you like. Um, well, we've gained some knowledge. Possibly yeah. have been discovered. Uh, break the data chip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have a uh, body to talk to the sheriff about. You have uh, motorcycle tracks you can follow. Uh, you could get a watered down coffee in the coffee shop. You know, options. I, I want to go to find out about the person that died, <laughs> basically, of the demon. Yeah. <laughs> So you go over, head on over to the sheriff's uh, apartment and he says, yeah, this one, this one hurts. Oops. Yay. Pulls out the morgue. And then this is... Shidi Butrapali, um, wife of our biodiesel engineer and our only town doctor. Hmm. Looks like, you know, from uh, records at the hospital, probably happened sometime between three and four in the morning, yeah. which is a good two hours after that thing appeared. So it took its time finding her. Hmm. But that, uh, that puts us in the, uh, oh, we're, uh, we're not going to get anything for Christmas category. Because, you know, we needed, we needed that hospital open. Hmm. Can we see the crime scene? Yep. I realize this is uh, difficult for you, but uh, we also need to understand uh, the manner of her death. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he looks at the body. There are no marks. There was no blood. It's one of the reasons it took us a while to find the body. Hmm. We don't have any really sophisticated detection techniques, but, hmm, you know, <laughs> We'll try to do it in a PG-13 way. But he basically depresses a couple of points to indicate that if there's bone in there, it's no longer servicing as a bone. Like, skeletal failure is what she died of. So as I understand, this was your only doctor? Yeah. Uh, are there any syringes here in the hospital? Well, you're at the sheriff's morgue right now. Okay. So, yeah. 
I, I, I thought I was you, heading for the hospital to, to, to get to the doctor and, and discover this. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, you, you can head to the crime scene because they wanted to look showing the body first. We haven't uh, exactly announced this to the town. We figured we want to break it slowly. That's another another thing that's going to cause unrest. Doubly glad why I'm why you got the the cyber church guy <laughs> gives us something to focus on. Mm. So, are you heading to the hospital next? Yep. Okay. She was killed in her office and just left there. It looks oh. Evidence analysis, I imagine, would probably be appropriate. Yeah, yeah. That's good I don't think I have that. Uh, I will assist with find if that's still viable. It's still viable. Of locating things. Yeah, I will assist with find as well. I can try and do the same. Uh, okay. Someone else should do that. <laughs> I find. Oh, that uh, was. Oh no! Right. Uh, see, this was not my not my role. Uh, this was your assist. So, so I've got a 13 for evidence analysis. And, and oh. does anybody assist? Yep. Yep. You yeah. got one, two assists. So we are at 15. Yep. So one popped up at the same time I rolled, so I thought that was my one. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was rolling, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, yeah. At least you don't disconnect because you're in a high-tech area, so yay. Yeah. It's difficult to disconnect with evidence analysis. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a, both a tech and a social thing. Okay. You could <laughs> disconnect with a microscope or so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. If you're using, using science concepts that don't exist a place. Yeah. So, um, looking around at other things in the office, there's part of the chair that turned to powder. There's part of the shelving behind her that is also missing. It's like something was disintegrated or shook up, like shook apart. Like something is, you know, breaking things up in its path. And she got in that path. Is it possible to, like... to find a, cl a clear path, or is it uh, arbitrary? Find a clear path, meaning? A uh, path from A to B, where it went through. Uh, well, this is the, you're just examining the crime area. It looks like the effect starts just inside the door to the back of the office. So a short range weapon or a short range effect. But it looked like someone opened the door, shot a weapon, and uh, a ray went right through everything. Yeah, the effect was generated because you saw the body. It didn't really go through her. The effect, yes, was generated, took her out, and then the thing walked away. Hmm. This okay. looks like what happens to her bones. Right. So, Correct. Uh, Severin, you like no technology and stuff. Do you know of any hmm. weapons that could do something like that? I suspect it's a little advanced. Um, I mean, question for you, Greg. Um, disintegration ray? <laughs> um, Doesn't seem in paradigm for cyber privacy. Yeah, it, it's not a disintegration effect because all of the body was still there and parts of the chair are missing and parts of the, it's so, you're not quite sure how it's working. Um, it's possible it's actually a magical effect also. Mm -hmm. Some sort of necromantic thing, because you've heard that demons sometimes dabble in that. So uh, could be tech, could be magic. Uh, weird or mystical looking at Sekhmet and Mara. Um, <laughs> potentially more than technological, I suspect, but I'm no expert. What is the left from uh, the, the, the disintegrated objects? Uh, is um, yeah. So some metal or, or wood or what, what kind of material is left? It, the, basically, you can find dust okay. near the objects that were shaken apart or disintegrated. That is clearly, you know, oh, that's part of the chair back. That's part of the desk. That's part of the shelf. 
you know. Hmm. But Maybe apparently it's... Excuse me? Sorry, go ahead. You're good. Um, are there any sort of tracks um, either outside the hostel or outside the room uh, at all? If it is genuinely a demon, then of course quite possibly not, but just out of curiosity. You may, you may make a tracking roll. That is favored. Let's try it again. And uh, nope, I do not see really anything. Yeah, there's his tile. What do you expect? Maybe the wolf can sniff it out. I could roll for the wolf. See if he can scent, uh, sense anything that's unfamiliar. Yeah. Go on up. He's got a modifier here, so yay, yay, whoa. <laughs> they really keep this hospital front edge clean. The, the janitorial staff was award winning. <laughs> Just put off by the chemical smell you usually get in hospitals. Yeah, so yeah, there's there's no tracks that you can find. On the other problem, I'm still looking for a syringe. Yes, you can, you know, rummage around the hospital rooms and find a syringe. And I, uh, uh, I draw some blood uh, from my veins. Um, and yeah, I, I don't don't know how to do it, but um, I, I'll try to um, to um, look, uh, uh, examine it. Uh, I, I found the word. <laughs> I'm trying to examine it on the microphone. <laughs> All right. So, do you have do you have science? Do no, you have science. Uh, I don't believe I have science. Just for a moment. Uh, oh yes, one point. Go ahead. Proof Uh Oh. Okay. And I'm good at it. <laughs> you are good at it. Um. So, good news. When you do the initial like chemical analysis your cell count red cell white cells you know seem to be okay and then you look under the microscope your blood seems to have spots that are different i had some inkling <laughs> yes it's like huh i don't think that's normal no i'm pretty sure that's not normal <laughs> yeah but that's it, you don't, uh, you know, you can, it, well, if you put it through the spectrometer there, you're just going to get unknown out of it. So there's this, this thing that comes out that's unknown. I just and wanted it, an affirmation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got something wandering around your blood, yes. You might have to Does anybody else have science that could take a try? Because you could piggyback on that. Okay, so that's our science. Yay. All right. Um, 18, that's... <laughs> yeah, that, that was... You got... So you know there's a foreign object in there. Yep. You know it's... Well, with 18, you know that it's changing your blood. I'm sure that's just fine. <laughs> My friends, uh, we, we have a variety of problems uh, to deal with. Uh, we have tracks uh, for our, our thieves, seemingly uh, dinos with some familiarity with technology and we also now have this uh death linked presumably to the demon which appeared at night um where do we think our efforts are best placed and i just realized that my inkling is uh, correct um my blood is tainted in some way um i'm not sure what that is but i touched something i shouldn't have touched hmm. is did you Examine the like the the one that you actually touched the uh, liquid with. What? No, because you touched the liquid, didn't you? And it no, no, I touched. Uh, I, I touched uh, uh, a writing on the wall. Uh, oh, the writing on the wall, yeah. And it went into your, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's I'm just thinking into that my blood. If it, well, if it's spread into the rest of your body, yes. Yeah, it's spreading. I believe. <laughs> 
So well, you can try them. Now you can try a sample from the other side and see if you get the yeah. same result. Because all you need now is a ten to confirm. Because you don't have to make the discovery. So, I should. You mean I should roll again, or what do you mean? Yeah, if you test the other side of your body, you can see if it's, if the blood. Oh, the okay. Yeah, we need to make so, sure um, that hasn't spread into the rest of your body. Testing again. So let. So no, it has not. Oh. Okay. okay yeah. So like I said, we just cut off that limb. Got a machete that's, right here. That that's a very severe um, approach. <laughs> Do you feel basically well in yourself at the moment, however? Um, everything's okay, I think, but uh, I'm not that sure what, what will happen in, about, in some, some days or weeks or months or who knows. But, per but perhaps we should deal with the problems in the, uh, their order of urgency. Um, uh, we have deaths, <laughs> we, are, we, we have theft. And we have an unspecified disease that has not yet run its course. Yeah, most urgent, we need coffee. Oh, what, what time is so it you got, right now? Yes, death, coffee, and Realm Runner. Those are your problems currently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what time is it uh, roughly about now? It's like 2.24. You're halfway, halfway through your time. Okay. Or yeah. you mean, yeah. No, before um, night time. Oh, you've got a long way. It's only been like two and a half hours since you left to get your coffee. So yeah, it's, it's not right. even noon yet. Okay, yeah, so that's going to happen at night, right? So we could go and investigate the theft and stuff like that and then hunt it down in the night. And it seems to attack like in the early morning anyway. Yeah, So makes sense. Makes sense to me as well. We can certainly try and follow those tracks. We like, did see that, see Adina. If that leads us anywhere. We did see that Adinos that rides that dead mount with the round legs. Yeah, yes. Like <laughs> so you 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 take your lovely truck, you know, and drive it off road, you know, stopping every hundred yards or so to keep see if you can find the track. Once they got onto the motorcycle, they weren't concerned about discarding their tracks. Apparently, they just wanted to. So you go about a kilometer, and you can see there's a hill with a copse of trees on it. It's heading up there. And at that point, you hear from about 50 yards off in a field. You can stop right there. There's a squawk. Can I help you with anything? Oh, we brought, a, we brought an elf for diplomacy. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I brought some saltines for my lunch. <laughs> That's about as relevant, I'm thinking. Is there something I can do for you uh, fine truck-owning individuals? Can we see where this voice is coming from at all, or pinpoint direction? Yeah, if you can want it. Basically, there's a speaker in the ground <laughs> that okay. he's talking through remotely. Does it well, look like there's any sort of camera or any sort of weird technological device pointed at us in the dream? Uh, the core earth, the core earth, and uh, cyber paper. This is just a speaker, so they must have a direct visual on you and are talking to you this way. So it's you know you're not finding you're not exactly looking at them. Now well, seriously, can we, can we help you? Yeah, we are. We are we. Just are we, we just go for some it. tracks of a thief. We should uh, we should let the elf do the talking because last time we tried to do diplomacy, it went I'm, very bad. I'm just saying we have an elf for diplomacy here. That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you, it work? <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're hunting a coffee thief. Huh. And we'd like to rule you out of the running. <laughs> So here he goes. Hey, Vasquez, are we coffee thieves? You hear? I don't know. I can ask around. It's all <laughs> right. While well, he's asking, anything else you want to talk about? Glad I'm not the only one who finds property confusing. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. 
have you seen? We'd like to have a word with you, if we could. Well, you're having a word with me. Yeah. I just like, I feel safer when I'm out of bullet range. Okay. So I'm, I'm sure we can clear up this matter entirely amicably without any need for bullets or other flying projectiles. Oh, um, I'm 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 a fan of no projectiles. I gotta tell you, it's tough enough as it is. Yeah. A little while later, he's got come back and you hear whispering. He goes, "Oh, mm. uh, I guess we're coffee thieves." <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> really sorry. I uh, didn't didn't plan on being a coffee thief when I woke up this morning. Uh, and uh, they don't want to give it back. Uh, who is the they? Don Striker. Look at the others. In us, what the hell does that mean? Adinos with a motorcycle. That sounds like an Adinos. Yeah, yeah. And what's your name, good sir? We've not I'm been properly introduced. I'm Kitan. You know, like the insect covering. My mom had a sense of humor. Right. Uh, can we talk to Dawn Striker? Well, uh, yeah, let me see if I can... No, wait, yeah, this, this loud whispering. No, seriously. We said, don't go into town. What'd you do? You went into town. And then what'd you do? You stole stuff. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to come find us. And what do you think they're going to do after they find us? They're going to shoot us. Um, we're still talking. Give us, give are us you, a minute. Are, are you all a Dinos like myself? No, nah, he, he's the only one. Guys, I got a disruptor grenade. Maybe we can find some slits to throw it down. You um, don't have if you do, do that, do you, do you, if you if you say that, kind of kind of, <laughs> kind of look round. <laughs> you didn't even whisper that. <laughs> yes, you got like a slightly strange like look shield, from Mara as like... well. <laughs> so let's because... let's not escalate anything at this stage. There's because absolutely I... no need for shooting. And so you may have one thing right. Okay, which here's, is that we want the coffee. Here's back. a deal. Here's a deal. It'll be about twenty minutes because uh, he's going to ride off in an, you know, another direction. Then he's going to circle back around and come back away the way you came. So you have a little bit more difficulty tracking us. All right. So it'll be about twenty minutes, and then he'll uh, pop up behind your truck. You'll see him coming. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's really, the again, we, we're, we're, we're really, we're really, really sorry about this. I mean, I, I had, I had a strict no theft policy, except <laughs> from the yahoos by the archaeological. They're scumbags. We can steal from them, but not from the town. Town are good folk, and you know, sometimes we bought coffee there. But apparently, now we have all the coffee we're ever need due to somebody. <laughs> back, back in. Back in a second, and the mic clicks off. You wait a few minutes, and then you do see a motorcycle came coming from the way you drove. And yes, it is an Adinos on the motorcycle. They've got a like a weird tail sling thing on it so that their tail doesn't get uh, weirded. But the way it pivots, it looks like the tail could be used to maneuver the bike as well as for you know melee strikes from the bike. And it pulls up, gets off, and it genuflex in the way that villagers do when an optant first comes to town to moonwalker and says life is bright today gives you the ritual greeting then stands up but it's got like synthetic leather or something armor on it it's got a sidearm it looks like its tail has been got some sort of a pump action weapon that it can deploy on the tail it's just i mean He's covered with dead things. You remember the ways, and yet you appear to have transformed. Well, remembering is my choice. Transformation, less so. I am Don Stryker. I am from the Blue Lake tribe. 
from your town. But when I went to San Francisco, I guess I loitered too long. But I'm afraid I can't give you your coffee back. Why not? It's tainted. With? The same thing I'm tainted with. Moth? I, uh, Moonwalker turns to everybody else and he kind of mouths the words like cyber coffee was <laughs> coffee tainted with what <clears throat> oh the stuff that's in then and then point to <laughs> yeah I don't think any uh, any have erupted yet but they will soon enough See, that's another tick in the box for, like, cut the arm off. You get a robot arm. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Severin can get that for you. Uh, Trust me, the uh, gifts of the Cyber Church are not ones that you would wish to uh, accept. I, I've learned my lesson, and I am stuck with them. <clears throat> Look, here's part of my problem. I did transform, but not all the concepts make great sense to me. I do know that the things that have started to affect me, but haven't quite taken effect, are also going to affect the humans who drink this coffee. And that's the purpose for distributing the coffee in the town. Do you know where the coffee came from? Yes, Baxter, Baxter Materials, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Kanoa Corporation. Oh. I used to work security for them. <laughs> What is the price? Right. Canva. So, I mean, yeah. It, it's infected with uh, the Changshi virus. That sounds right, but you can't, <laughs> you can't really take my word for it. If you think that sounds right, then I think it sounds right. How all, do I you... know is, all I know is that this has been an ex experimental point. They've got a lab somewhere underground. They probably have more than one. They've been experimenting on these people for pretty much since day one. But nothing's come of it yet. Uh, so you, you stole the coffee to protect the town. Okay. Yeah. I don't need to see that happen again. Happen I again. saw it in North San Francisco. I saw it when they trained me in Osaka. I don't need to see that again. Mm, makes sense. Now, I can detect it by smell. I could probably train you and maybe that lovely animal she has to detect the scent. Oh. So you can see other coffee when it comes in. But I really don't want to give this, this back to you. Because it's, this batch is no good. If you can train me now, that would be much appreciated. Yep, not a problem. May I train your uh, Mary wolf will as direct, well? Mary will direct the wolf to help as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah, a, smell it. a quick a quick montage scene, and now on a DN eight, you can identify the smell of corrupted coffee. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So we can't take that. Back. It is tremendously insidious, though. It's the one you... luxury that everybody will cling to. It's why it's yes. the most effective. Well, mm, that's Canwa for you. Yeah. So yeah. Is Kanawa base I, where they're experimenting? Is that nearby? Um, the monitoring. I have devices that monitored, and it's been trashed. The one I know of has been trashed. It was near Mingus Park. Oh. And whatever happened is it's almost entirely shut down. But there are probably other facilities because I can. <laughs> he. he pulls out this like data tablet. He goes, this app shows me their drone coverage. And you see like six dots on it. They still got operational drones here. So there've got to be other places. I just don't know where they are. It'd be possible for me to uh, copy that data. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I figured out the motorcycle. I was pretty happy about that. This stuff, I just know I hit the images 
and I usually get what I want. Uh, I'm just going to go for the higher tech cyber deck versus. Yeah, I mean, like, when you take when you take a look at it, it's it's you know, hey, look, it's TCP/IP. Yeah, you know that protocol. Here we go. Woo! You don't even have to roll. It just takes you about three minutes, and you can transfer the data, and you can transfer the app. And the app will run on your cyberdeck. So now you're on the display, you can track Kanoa drones. Useful skill. And so town is not going to be happy to know about what happened to their coffee. No. Yeah. I mean, my guess is the Morans don't know what they're smuggling. Perhaps this we is coming straight. Sorry, perhaps this we should investigate how these townsfolk get their coffee and where it's. Well, they, it comes from the Kano Labs in San Francisco. That's where all this stuff's been coming. And the Morans have been smuggling stuff in since I was part of the, the crew that came from San Francisco smuggling stuff in. I mean, it's, it's hardly smuggling, but it's just that it doesn't go through their official <laughs> count of goods received. From San Francisco, it's just hidden away. Do, do you and sometimes it? the coffee's good; other times, it's got a new batch of Kano experimentation. Okay. Do you reckon they've got an insider in the Moran family that uh, knows exactly what's going on? Well, we dealt with Lori Moran and Tamara Moran. They're the two who are running the outfit. Hmm. Might be a good idea to go and investigate that. Yeah, can't. Well, like I said, I couldn't let the once I. We keep we keep scouting the town, and once I, you can smell the wind in concentration. You can smell this from about fifty meters. So, yeah, I didn't. Once I detected that on the breeze, I had to go take it out. I can't. Don't want to see another outbreak. And like I said, I can you tell you'll notice there's a slight variation in smell. There. They're tinkering. They're tinkering with this stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Why would the Kanawa try want to eradicate the town? Can anyone think of a reason why? It's just a testing why, site. Why would they want to experiment on the town? Hmm. Yeah, that's the thought. Weaponizing it, I'm guessing. You, like, infect. A luxury item like that, put it into like a town, like they're oh. doing here. A convenient yeah. test population in a strategically useful area. Yeah. Yet not so useful that if you entirely destroy it, you're going to set yourself back a lot. It's like, you know, it's a town. Mm -hmm. It's not New York City. It's not Tokyo. Well, On Striker. Don Striker, we saw you watching us uh, when we were going to the that Nile Empire encampment. Were you just keeping an eye on us to see what our dealings were? Um, we're not really friendly with the Nile Empire encampment. I don't. We've like uh, we've emptied many of their trucks. They they believe they own this entire area, and we're within their security perimeter. And they keep trying to annihilate us. So we keep fighting back. Hmm. And I got to tell you, at this point, we're kind of used to shock troopers. If they don't bring something better, they're not taking us out. You say but me. yeah, yeah, and I don't. Yeah, I'm part of the Undertown. The Undertown? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean the, there's a real town under, underneath? Uh, it's not like Coos Bay or anything. But yeah, we've got we've got a couple hundred people. Okay. In the in the tunnels that just sort of started opening up, and we started living in the tunnels. Hmm. Yeah. Chitons, more or less, our leader. We tend to talk things over, but if push comes to shove, Kitan can get things done. How many of you are? About 200 or so. 
you mainly choruses or other uh, other um, people from other realms down there? Uh, <laughs> again, not like I have census data, but I'd say most of them seem like you. And then, then there are a few who are like me, and then a few other transformed. I'd, but I'd say the preponderance, you know, seventy percent is that the right one? Where you got seventy parts out of a hundred? <laughs> okay, seventy seventy percent would be would be human. Mm -hmm. Most odds, or do you have uh, storm nuts? Now you've confused them. <laughs> Uh, we don't have any Delphi Council members, if that's what you mean. No, I mean, do you have people who can um, use things that are not from their cousin? <laughs> he, he looks at his motorcycle, looks back at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we got a couple, we got a couple people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a few of us, yeah. Would Undertown welcome the Delphi Council's protection or involvement? Not right now. We're still kind of, because, you know, right now, not being seen seems, uh, seems to enhance our survivability. Hmm. So joining yeah, is I've not yet seen as a... Movie. Hmm? I've seen that Monty Python's clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we were, uh, we're happy to stay on our own. I mean, some of us are from Coos Bay, so that's one reason we keep sort of tabs on them. We kind of have a sentimental attachment, but even that place is crazy. Cool. So. Why do you well, say it's crazy? Hmm? Why do you say it's crazy? Well, let's see. Uh, they welcome the cyber papacy. Pretty much immediately thereafter, demons started attacking. Mm -hmm. Then... Shortly after that, the town split into two over arguing about the refugees, where they before they had sort of an accord. So they got a small civil war going on. Then the smuggling increased. Now the Morans are smuggling in arms as well as coffee and sugar and stuff. So they're building up a counterforce. You've got a sheriff and like three deputies against like 1,500 mad Moran gang guys. I mean... Yeah, the Scots are, are toast. They're done. It's over. It's just when the Morans decide to pull the trigger. When the Morans pull the trigger, and this is why I got interested in following you, the Morans aren't going to welcome the Delphi Council. And what are you going to do when the Morans take over? Well, I think we need to prevent that from happening, but that's his problem for another day. Yeah, so you got you, 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 and Sheriff Ocampo. Okay, I'm counting. Uh, unless I'm wrong, I think that's that's seven, right? You got seven. They're gonna have maybe 100, 200. You can probably get some of your other townspeople to help fight you. So maybe you're up to thirty. I've also seen the movie with the seven gunslingers. Oh yeah. Oh, I saw that one too. That was like the first movie I saw when I could understand what was happening on that one. Wow, I liked that one. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the one that was black and white where they're running in the village and stuff? Well, anyway, I like, yeah, the seven the seven fighter stuff I like. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Yeah, well, if you're that good, by yeah. all means, go take them out. It it's, a, it's a question of levers, I think. <laughs> uh, and precision. So, um, I think, I mean, look, look over uh, Moonwalker and uh, you know uh, Mara and uh, Scootley, uh, you can detect this coffee now. Yes, clearly. Yeah, they they they'll be able to smell it when they get reasonably close. So we have a further set of actions in front of us. Um, yes. It's not yet. How how long has it taken us to get out here? Greg. Took, took took you about an hour and ten minutes, hour and twenty minutes. Mostly because you have got to go over land. There are no roads leading. Hmm. You're just bushwhacking it with your truck over somewhat soft ground. So you probably haven't made more than 15 miles mm -hmm. from the town, but it's just really hard to get to. We could return, perhaps reconnoiter, 
um, to see if we can discover more about this uh, canal infiltration whilst we wait for Dark to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I encourage everyone not to speak of Undertown to oh, yeah, no. anyone back in Coos Bay. We yeah. must respect their wish for privacy. Absolutely. And um, Greg, sorry, is it uh, Don Breaker? That's her name? Don Stryker is his name. Don yeah. Stryker. Don Stryker, if anything changes and you do wish for the Delphi Council to become involved, please be in, uh, please let us know. But we should. I, can, I can get to uh, I can get to within about a kilometer of your location, then I can radio you. We know the sheriff's frequency. We monitor that. Ah, should, fantastic. We should, campus, take, uh, uh, sorry. we should take a sample of the of the infected coffee, um, so we can tell the people. We destroyed the rest of the coffee and it's infected and it's not good for you. Given our current reputation with them, perhaps <laughs> if we lead them to the conclusion themselves, rather than saying, by the way, we destroyed all your coffee. Uh, the, the, the central principle is sound, that we must inform them. Uh, but uh, perhaps we could approach it from a slightly different angle. Yeah, Might be worth. we should try. We should try an explanation that doesn't lead them to believe there are there are people uh, out there, the, the underground city. The, that's something we wanted to to keep close. Hmm. Hmm. Mara, you were going to say. It's also worth thinking about whether we can find out whether the Morans are aware that Kanawa has been tra tampering with the coffee. Yeah. They may not. We don't know who they are working with necessarily. Do do we know that they're working with Kanawa as well as with the Cyber Papacy? Or well, Dawn Striker said that they did have dealing with the brands. Yeah, that that the the San Francisco branch of Kanawa has been using the Moran smoking routes as their conduit into. Yeah. Right. I don't believe really the Moran know that they're smuggling infected coffee. Yeah. They may, exactly. They may not know that they're smuggling infected coffee, in which case, if yeah. they were led to discover this by some means, uh, they might be less impressed with their Kanawa allies. Yeah. Agreed. So, we, um, Don Strike, That's if true. we can have a sample, uh, as Bound says, uh, then that will aid us in these plans. And I still have to um, a connection with the Morans. Let's say it's, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not sure you want to leverage that one, but you, you can give it a try. <laughs> I said right. three. What, uh, sort a of, three. What, what, what sort of connection? Does it involve a disruptor grenade? No, it was more of a, a failed romantic um, approach. Let's put it that way. <laughs> close to a disruptor grenade, to be honest. <laughs> Very close to Just as devastating. <laughs> um, I killed some of the guys b uh, before that. Yep, uh, that, uh, that blackens the water a bit. <laughs> Greg, are we able to get a s sample of some of the coffee from uh, Dawn Striker? Yeah, he'll, he'll, give you, he'll give you a couple answers. And uh, and he passes it to let your wolf sniff and lets uh, Moonwalker sniff. Oh, yeah. And he's like, when you get, if somebody served you a cup of this, you would have no, you would have no problem detecting it. This one, it's, it's pretty much hardwired into your brain. It's hard to forget the smell once you find it. All right. Okay. So back to town, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we should tell Ocampo about what we've learned. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're heading back to town. You get back on the highway finally, which makes it a much faster process. Except that oh, there's a blockade ahead. Half tracks, yeah. deuce and a half, sandbags, looks like a machine gun, and lots of shirtless, headdressed guys. Off the prior, oh, I'll try <laughs> that. Um, uh, so, uh, use half tracks, machine guns, and how many shots? Uh, two trucks worth. So that probably puts it at like twenty. Oh, we we've still got the odds. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> true. I mean, that's, that's fair. Um, Greg, out of interest, do do we get uh, 
are Cosm cards a thing for this, or is it kind of not? Yes, it is when you get to the living land portion, because right. the other Cosms are too mixed that there are, there isn't a... <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, which yeah. one are you drawing? Yeah. If you go... Like, if, once you go past the elven enclave, you're in the living land, you draw a Cosm card there. Understood. Yep. Well, let's... That's... You see, they're, they're waving at you to stop. Uh, We've still got uh, an elf for diplomacy. You can't, you can't just say we've got an elf for diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because elves are well known for their Nile Empire connections. So. I mean, I'm from the Nile Empire, but yeah, they're not going to like me. We, we tried to be diplomatic. But you, at least, but you do at least, you've got status, I'm right? Even if it's yeah. negative. You know, yeah, if you true. step out, then the idea of jumping you becomes less appealing just because, oh, there's, you know, there's him and there are five other people traveling with that are probably a lot like him. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a fun afternoon. Well, we can so who's stop approaching? And see what who's... They want. Yeah, so you stop the truck. Who's getting out? Are all yeah. of you getting out? Yeah, you can almost you can almost watch their posture change. It's like, you know, <laughs> Like, you know, a peewee soccer team watching a pro team get off a bus. <laughs> this, this, this looks less interesting than it did five minutes ago. Um, but they're, they're, they're over, over Lieutenant walks in front and says, we don't really want much. It's just that, well, we saw you drive out into the bush and you're back. Are we kind of thinking you might have run into under? Did you have any contact? Never heard of him. Contact with him. I think your reception is wrong. So, so he, he, yeah. he's, he's, you know, basically once the relic raider says, uh, Dr. Fletcher said, you're the type who likes to take secrets from folks. You don't like revealing secrets. This wouldn't be one of those ones you're keeping, would it be? Take secrets? I keep secrets. No, he, he's talking to the Relic Raider. Uh, Relic Raider, sorry. <laughs> Not at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Really? So if I search your bag right now, I wouldn't find any Nile Empire dig relics? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hmm. Mind if I take a look? Sure, go ahead. Now, the question is, since you you weren't here when they played last time, but you did pass through a Nile Empire archaeological dig that once one group of Storm Knights started to fight, there was nobody looking. Did you take anything? Of course. <laughs> okay, just, just asking. <laughs> so, he's, so, you get to the point where it's obvious he's found the tablets you took. He didn't realize you were bluffing. If he pulls out the tablets, there's, he's going to be required to have official action. He realizes he's going to be the first to die. So he's having great reluctance. I'm, I'm just going to tell uh, the attorney. My the friend, room. like I said, there's nothing in the bag. Uh, persuasion attempt. Go ahead. You, he's very vulnerable to this. So you get plus four. Okay, so that'd be... That'd be Christmas, because I don't have the... Go ahead. What? What's going on with this roll? <sighs> so are you, are you going to spend a possibility? Or... Yes, 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 I will. Okay. No, I'll do an intimidation roll. Oh, that, yeah, okay. That's going to be... So you're... Yeah, okay. So... He goes, well, it looks like everything's in order. I'll just go get you a certificate of search, and I'll be right back. He wanders back to the half track, and you see him running around, and he comes back in, and... 
So he hands you a slip of paper that's been filled out. It's got the Mobius seal, the Pharaoh seal at the top. It basically goes, says, yes, you have been officially searched. And when he hands it to you, you realize he's passed you something underneath that the, the paper has been concealing. Okay. It's, they're clear to go. They don't know anything about Undertown. Move the trucks. So clear the path for you. All right. Uh, once we're out of sight, I'll uh, take a look at what he passed. It's another tablet. In fact, it may be a middle tablet in the sequence you had uncovered that made it difficult to decode. He, like, gave you a missing piece of the tablet. Well, no. And there's a small note on the back of the form. That goes, Dr. Fletcher thinks these artifacts are being transformed. She'd be interested in your opinion. And you're back in town. All right. Well, I want to spend some time examining these uh, these tablets again. Um, see, see, now that I have the missing piece, if, if it makes any more sense than it did before. All righty. Would you like to spend some time with evidence analysis? I assume you have that. I have that, or would it be a scholar or... Well, scholar, scholar would work just fine. Well, twenty one. What did we ever do to to roll it, Yeah, it, it, it seems to believe you guys are rolling a six. I think that's just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I I feel like this is important, and I'll spend a possibility on it. All right. Also, you can play cards because you're not in combat. Any cards you got, you can just toss on there. By the way, did our cards refresh? Our, our yes, your cards refresh. Oh, uh, so we have four cards again. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Until we have. So, yeah. So, this was a Squamish Indian site, supposedly. And it is talking about the, the flow of the waters and the sickness in the valley, which the Willamette Valley had been referred to as the Valley of Sickness. And then it, though, goes on to describe stuff that's a lot more Egyptian. There are no dunes in this area. There are no funeral structures in this area, funerary structures in this area. It's verbally describing a location that flat out doesn't exist here. And it seems to be describing it being under the ground. Ooh. Uh, I'll, uh, of everything else that Egypt ever was. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. I'll, I'll share this with the group, the information. All right. And I believe the first stop is going to be Sheriff Ocamp. Ocampo's first? Was that where you're going first? Yeah, we need to let him know. Okay, I would like a find roll from the Boonwalker person. You got it. Fifteen. <laughs> there we go. Now, yeah, you don't even have to get in the door before that stench of infected coffee reaches your nose and you follow it go to the morgue, pop up the cabinet, it's the doctor. Absolutely reeks of that coffee. Oh, it's the last thing that died. Mm -hmm. Is this the same doctor that doesn't have any bones left? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Perhaps then. not a demon, then. Well, then... So or it perhaps Kanawa is trying to draw the de something about it is drawing demons to them. It is a very strange town, a mixture of realities. Mm. Certainly possible. Very strange. Town. But it, you know for certain that she reeks of this coffee. Mm. Absolutely. I'll let everyone know, and we have so, to find out where she got it from. You, you see, you see, Sheriff Acampo slowly crumples his styrofoam cup and sadly puts it in the trash. 
So you're telling me no, no coffee. No, no coffee. I I fetch his coffee cup and I sniff it. His coffee cup smells fine. <clears throat> All right. I've I a... point to the cup and I say, this one was good. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at the trash again. Oh. Life is timing, isn't it, son? Uh... Thanks, uh, I guess... I guess I'll ask you before I drink my next cup of coffee. Gladly. When I bring the stuff in in the morning, you can check it then, right? So I'm not throwing away coffee or drinking bad stuff? Absolutely, yes. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks. It's, it's getting rough around here. I got to tell you, I don't mind the body so much, but no coffee. That's just, a man wasn't meant supposed to do that. You're supposed to have coffee and something to eat in the morning, preferably bacon. But if I can't have either... Mm. Can we Anything else you guys need from me? Hmm. I was wondering well, if we could just requisition the Delphi Council to do an airdrop of non-tainted coffee. <laughs> That's so, an extremely good idea. And you're in the sheriff's office who has about the... And he's just inside the cyber papal ban. So his radio transmission will reach the coast, which where they have... Yeah. Delphi Council vessels waiting to relay messages from the few communities around here. So he can reach the coast. He says, well, if you want to talk, I can uh, let you relay a message. They won't get it real time. I mean, it'll take a while. The vessels got to get in the range of each other. But yeah, they'll have a message back for you, like probably by tonight. I yeah. think that would be an excellent use of Delphi Council resources given the situation in the town. It serves two purposes. All right, so who's got streetwise of any kind? <laughs> persuasion? I might have Your persuasion is the backup. I have a charisma of yeah. eight, but not uh, a streetwise. Street we, we, go to, we go to persuasion next. I've got a little bit of persuasion, but that's... Uh, I've got nine in streetwise. Okay. Okay, persuasion of nine sounds like a winner. Yeah. Um, Sekman's got nine in, per, nine in streetwise. Yeah. Oh, who's got streetwise? Uh, Sekman. Oh, streetwise is a lower difficulty. Go for that. All right. You only needed 10 for streetwise. Mm. Possibility it. Uh, do you want a card? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a willpower. Oh, yes, a thank you. Somehow, Perfect. somehow. A cup of coffee for a possibility seems like a bad exchange. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Just to get it passed. Yeah. Um, you have to be in desperate need of a cup of coffee. Okay. So um, you're, you're, you can basically ask them for like 50, 60 pounds, which yeah. should be enough to get them by until the next ship comes in, you know, in a couple of days. And so you'll uh, have your answer tonight. Great. Mark, trade me whatever you want. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, have an inspire. Ooh. Marvelous. All right. Next stop. Are you heading off to the Morans next? Yeah, to find out about this tainted coffee. So you can get to their compound. They've still got their guards, and they're still not super happy about you know, seeing you. This You don't have any business with Laurie Moran. You can just take that fancy old truck of yours back to your house, guzzle up some of that biodiesel they're not letting us have, and drive yourself south. Do you know what? I think we'll do that. It'll be absolutely fine. She won't be bothered at all when it transpires that the important information about how she's been taken for a ride by uh, one of her suppliers gets to her. I'm sure she won't be angry with you at all, uh, which is hopefully the nicest intimidate we've done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you'd have to... How about this? You tell me the supplier that's dinked her over. Maybe I believe you. You can't give me a name. I'm not going to believe you. Um, I will say, look into my eye, kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> giving he, him the cyber he, eye. He, he basically goes one nose width away. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to push the intimidate. Essentially, I'm st still trying to overpower him a bit. All right. Go for it. Okay. So he's like, uh, let me see if she's busy. By the way, so, could you see if Shannon is around here? Oh, uh, tomorrow, you mean? Yeah. Or right now? Sure. Or probably yeah. right now? All right, man. So they'll they'll get that back. So Tamara's actually the one who comes back and says, Mom can see you in a few minutes. She's wrapping up a few business details. You mind telling me what's so important? Because, you know, she gets mad. I don't need her mad. So what's the info you got for her? I'm sort of going to glance over at Moonwalker and uh, Mara, uh, being uh, uh, the people who kind of got the kind of more direct line on 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 the the, the coffee side of it. Yeah, I'm sort of what tribe Jean named Wolf. Baxter. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just sort of generally watching the wolf for any sort of reaction. The wolf, the wolf is is, okay, you know, has the not going to attack, but is not comfortable with this situation. <laughs> it's probably, you know, there's some, there's more here than just these folks, and it can detect that. It knows that something's not quite right, and it's just nervous. So what, Moonwalker? Bribe of Baxter is trading you corrupted coffee. Tribe of Baxter. You mean Baxter Materials? Yes. <laughs> huh. Any idea why? They are part of a larger tribe named Kanawa. Okay. Give me one second. So Baxter Materials, out of San Francisco, mm -hmm. is part of the Kanawa tribe. Mm -hmm. The Kanawa tribe apparently doesn't like us? What? Uh, I looked to everybody else to try to explain the science around uh, this. They're experimenting on the town. It's not easy because we don't know but. what they're up to. <laughs> They're experimenting on the town. Yeah, they're they're the, the, the coffee is infected, and they're in, they're using it to test something. The coffee. And, and you seem to be the ones importing it. It's a bit tricky for you, I would imagine. Okay, Baxter Materials is working for this Kanoa tribe Perfect. that is poisoning our coffee because they're experimenting on the town. This is the story you're going with. Yeah. <laughs> if it seems largely unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just it, because uh, we didn't fabricate a story. Well, uh, I'm I'm willing to believe that as Blarney goes, this isn't good. So I'm at least inclined to give you the benefit of the doubt. But what do you expect my mother to do? Stop bringing in materials from Baxter? And another supplier. Well, we don't we do don't have zombies? another supplier because that's how you get zombies. And you seem to be forgetting that this area is very uh, important for the war because we have many uh, uh, many um, interconnecting um, realm boundaries here. Okay, as so I realized <laughs> that's very unique. So Mara, here. Your wolf is close to freak out mode. <laughs> it and you see it like jump almost straight up, like it's trying to grab a bird out of the air before it lands down. Not behavior you've seen before. I see anything? Is it did something fly by or something unnoticed? Or make a find roll. Uh, 
not particularly, no. <laughs> What's wrong, boy? It's Tim. Four. We had we had four <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, you do. Is is Tim is Timmy stuck in the well? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, can I make a fine roll as well? Uh, just because if, uh, if the wolf is. Yeah, not at the immediate moment because we're going okay. to go into combat. Oh, okay, oh. great. <laughs> okay, that's not my my fault that uh, <laughs> every, every diplomacy attempt ends in combat. This is not on us. Well, you're We've done. It. The problem is we have an elf. Because we have or a disintegration core. <laughs> you have an elf who has actually no ads whatsoever in persuasions, just to be clear. <laughs> but it was a different approach this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's Torg! So defend and taunt are the approved actions. That's going to be rather interesting. So, yes. oh. And there's a huge explosion. Just a massive, massive explosion. So I need active dodges out of everybody to see if you get caught in the blast. Oops. This round. I'm going to possibly see that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same. What's the target? That's a possibility. What's the target number? It sounds like a... The target okay. number to completely avoid the blast is 17. To only take partial blast is 12. Oh. Ooh. Right. Two. Do you know what? Two. Needing to get another five. Come on, actually just... Oh, my dear, partial blast. Does Sorry. anybody need avoid... a watch? From, uh, uh, I can give plus three. Does it, does it help anybody? Yes. It will get me past the, the entire blast. So I, uh, I, I drag you out of the way. <laughs> oh, we're in rounds though, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. So I can't, can't, I can't play it. Well, yep. active defense is favored for me, so I'm going to try this again. Sounds like a plan. Let me check. And I'm going to spend a possibility on my roll for two, for two points. So it's 12 to take partial damage. Is that right, Greg? It is 12 to take partial damage, 17 to avoid entirely. Somebody got a possible glow result, Moonwalker? Yes, but <laughs> and I do have... And I do have two glory cards, but if we're just starting a combat, I can't play them. Oh my gosh. But All I right. dodge looking really cool doing it. Yeah, they, <laughs> the other possibility is you play for a critical moment. That's true. Claim, claim the glory. I mean, glory, is, glory is glory. Let's do it because my only other two cards are idea and coup de grace. So actually, I will play for the critical moment and I will oh, drop everything out. I, I rolled the wrong thing. <laughs> so here's one of my cards. There, oh, what, oh my god. So <laughs> spending one of the glory. I, I, I rolled the wrong thing. Oh. And then I rolled my active dodge. It got a possible glory. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah, look at it. <laughs> That's right there. Yeah. But oh my. That's two of them. I, yeah, can, can we all admit that this, you know, random number generator seems to be slightly unrandom today? You, yeah, you get yeah. you get so like I, a roll of it's it's all binary. You get like a roll of four, sixteen, or sixty-four. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get today. So you got a possible glory if who avoid it entirely. All right. So I think if you had two, are you are you going to play both glories then? Because you have two possible glory results. If I can, yeah, because that'll get everybody, what, two possibilities and two cards. That would be amazing. Oh, oh I, my god. Okay. So yes. we'll have to rewind this just a bit. So everybody is dodging except for Moonwalker and and the second, who basically, while Mars looking up. And can't spot anything. You know, the two of them look up, 
and you just instinctively bless him, which is <laughs> maximum ability bless. And he's crackling, and you just say, it's got to be right about there, and throw your shield, which goes far beyond his 15 meters, and it deflects an incoming something, which explodes in a field about 40 meters away. <laughs> and you can trace it right back up. Oh, that must be a drone. Right about up there at about 120 meters. So you shield intercept, you, you Patriot missile intercepted the incoming missile with your shield, thanks to the blessing from Lanala. Fantastic. Nobody, can nobody takes... Nobody takes any damage, which also means now the guards who are being all, you know, snarky to you are like, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm well, gonna well, do... then. well, then we could, uh, we can let you see, uh, Miss Moran right about now. <laughs> Have we reround sufficiently that we did not need to dodge? Yeah. Uh, yes, you don't need to dodge. If you spend stuff to get that. Two glory results is like forget it. The, the <laughs> there are like no adverse effects in that thing at all. <laughs> Just like yeah. does a card limit increase by one or by two? Your card limit's only going to increase by one though. <laughs> Sorry, uh, do we? Uh, do we? Oh, go ahead. But you do get two. the two possibilities. Yes, two possibilities. Two cards. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Two cards. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So. Um, I can just get rid of my encounter stack because I don't think I'll be needing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that does the idea card I threw out give me anything else, or is it just like what what else do I need? I, that just happened. So uh, since you're dealing basically with this, if you want to toss the idea out, I can then give you a hint later. I'll I'll willing to say you're playing for a critical moment. It's like you're taking the data now, and what it suggests will occur to you when it's appropriate. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll, I'll give you that. So, leave it out. but what happens as a result of that is when the thing explodes, whatever you did has fooled the targeting mechanism of the drone, which absolutely blows the complete heck out of the area that actually exploded. It's recalibrated because this missile was supposed to track you and it's blowing up o open field with missile salvo after missile salvo after missile salvo until it's empty. <laughs> um, if it's with hmm, if it's within some sort of range of the cyber deck assuming that this is some sort of Kanawa drone and i've already got a little bit of intel on them uh, if it's possible to try and seize control of it once it's empty it's 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 like 120 not. meters away and you don't have that's fine you don't have a, a way of broadcasting the way mm -hmm. they're you know they're yep. not on wi-fi Yep, they're, on an, they're an encrypted military band signal, so... Understood. No but problem. they just... You've got a very happy drone operator who scurries and annihilates something because he picked up no sign of life from the area he's just bombarded, <laughs> which was just off target. So, <laughs> I can imagine he being unhappy later when they get the intel report. Congratulations, you killed 180 blades of grass. Good job! <laughs> Not what we were going for. Grass is never going to bother us again. That's right. So you go. So if you want to see Moran now, you can. Because, yeah, the guards just cut. Did you just see that? Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> he glowed and then he threw his shield up. Yeah. And the missile deflected. Yeah. You can't do that with a shield. Yeah, you can. We just saw it. We just did that. Right there. So, like, so. Your reputation with the town has taken a significant bend upward, particularly as, as far as the Morans are concerned, the missile wasn't aimed for you as much as it was aimed at them. So you have now bumped up a level of reputation with the Morans, which is going to help you with the town. So congratulations to that, too. And your conversation will have a, a tenor to it, shall we say. So they let you into the compound, and Tamra's not exactly flirting with the, the Realm Runner, but at least slightly warmer now. And it's like, yeah. So you lose any more equipment? Shoot anybody? It's been a good day for you? 
Sorry, talking. Are you talking to me right now? I uh, I had a glitch. But I I didn't understand it. Yeah, Tamara's Tamara's having conversation with you. You wouldn't call it romantic, but she's at least not spewing venom at you. <laughs> that's that's it's, a, it's a step up. Yeah. Um, shot anybody lately? Not that I'm aware of. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to um, improve okay. my diplomacy skill. <laughs> what do you mean? Not that you're aware of. Generally, when I shoot, I do this thing called aiming. Aiming <laughs> involves looking down the barrel at a target, so you see what you're shooting at. So when you say you're not aware of having shot somebody, you're um, confusing me. Have you yeah. shot somebody or no? Yeah, I, I shot some of those cyber papacy guys, but as uh, they don't count, I think. Well, oh, the people rebuilding our church. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Say shot first. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> okay. So the conversation gets a little cooler at that point. <laughs> uh, she takes you into she takes you in to see her mom. And her mom is somewhere in her fifties. Uh, artificially red hair, um, but you're pretty sure she's got a bulletproof vest on under that dress, just from the way it's bulked up. It's like, so you hit her telling her my coffee's bad. Yes, corrupted. So, someone is experimenting on your people. I mean, if been tampering with some like of your dark roast items. or what? They've tampered with some of your shipments, not all, but some. They seem to be trying to do some sort of odd experiments on the people in the town. Uh, huh. But not all of them, just some of them. A selection. Yes. Random. So if we can figure out which ones are tampered with, then at least we can keep some of the coffee coming in. Yes, Mr. Lizard, sir. Yes, I can do that. I can you tell you what, what which coffee is corrupted and which coffee is drinkable. Really? Cool. How do you do that? Ah. Skulls okay. can too. And so you see, she gets a sort of scowl on her face, and then Tamara says, Look, I went with them up to the fruit. I saw them do strange stuff. I just saw them throw a missile in the air and knock a missile aside. So smelling poison doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility, Mom. Just saying. And she still scowls. I mean, they didn't, you know. What is identified, I'm sure, you know, you'd obviously be at liberty to analyze it yourselves. <clears throat> All right, right. Okay, go the boys, pull it out of the warehouse. I don't want them seeing the warehouse. Sure, Mom. Give us a couple minutes. Then they have, they bring a basically a pallet <laughs> of coffee. So you go, oh, that's a lot of coffee. Are you going to try to detect it? Yes. All right, you get one sh shot at this. Whew, I'll All right, roll so for the wolf. I've got six possibilities at this point, so I'm feeling confident. <laughs> you're feeling confident. Yeah, you only need a DN8. When you need mm -hmm. a DN8, absolutely. Let's get that. I'll, I'll direct glory. the wolf to try and assist you then. Okay, then. Assisting. Well, I got the eight, so I can. Go for a good or outstanding success, if it'll matter. Uh, yes, both levels matter. Let's go. Roll possibility, last roll, 13. 17. <laughs> One away. Oh, well, Somebody's got a, got, got a an card. card. I've got an that action card. Perfect. Uh, would you like flurry or leadership? Uh, leadership, I think. Let's do that. Actually, one sec. I've got a four modifier again. I like being a wolf. Whoop. Whoop. 
Wow. Okay. So. Oh, if the, that's right. If the wolf is assisting, it gives me that plus one. It does. Then we got 18 and we don't need the action card. I'll trade it back. And actually, okay. he gives you a plus two because he's five over what he needed. So he oh, gives you a plus, fantastic. gives you a big plus two. So you go through it about one eighth of it or about or about 20 pounds of this stuff is infected. And so what was your total well, when you get, get it at the end? 19. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So if, go ahead. Oh, sorry. That is if the wolf gave me plus two. Did. The wolf Great. did. The uh, wolf we'll is also also to, you know sampling a bean or two just to see if it likes it and it decides it likes potato chips better. So it's like We'll, we'll, sort of we'll start splitting the stand, if they stand behind Mara. That was not a yeah. good taste. That was not what he's hoping for. She will pat its head slightly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So so yeah, we can uh, separate out the bad from the good. And when you start, and you notice there are slight gradients to the smell, like they're probably not all quite the same treatment. But you pull out the the twenty pounds of this stuff which is when your idea card comes into play, when you went, wait, if I kind of slide on the gradient, yeah, when you fought the demon in the wrecked Kanoa lab, this smell was all over the place. Just so as you know. Maybe won't say that out loud in front of the Morans, but noted. Yeah, okay. There was something so, with a demon. Can't remember what it was, but it was, there was something odd. Uh, it was built off of Rodeo. Oh, yeah. 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 And the next one is supposed to be built off your samurai. And that's all you know about that. So... The Morans can't detect any difference when you cut. You're like, smell this, and now smell this. <laughs> well, on the one hand, that's coffee. On the other hand, that's coffee. So they they they're nose blind. They can't smell this stuff. And so they said, so uh, we could pay a small consulting fee if you could come in for our next batch. <laughs> Mara will look at Bernard. Um, you seem to be able to analyze things somehow with some device. Do you think there might be a way to see the infection in the coffee? She, she's referring to the studying things under a microscope, but obviously does right. not know the words for that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not that good in science, but I've got um, so, uh, I've, I've got a minor degree, so yeah, I could do it. <laughs> very Two minor. years at community college. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Something like that, yep. Uh, when the oh, Brian's offered to pay me. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, oh. Science. Go ahead, Moonwalker. Oh, sorry. I'll, when the Moran's offered to pay me, I look to my colleagues and, be able, and I have that look on my face that says, remind me, getting paid is a good thing. That's... Yes. I don't understand currency. Um, Money is nice. You want it? Yeah. Okay. Great. If you want liquor, or ammunition, we got a lot. It's pay. Getting paid is good. Getting yeah. paid is good. It's like uh, it's like sharing uh, sharing uh, uh, something from the hunt without hunting. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> we may wish to uh, again looking at the others. Um, accept payment in goodwill. Yeah. I think you mean, that would be more than appropriate. We scratch your back, you scratch ours. So the scowl returns to Laurie Moran's face. What kind of goodwill are we talking about? 
a reset of our relationship from its recent difficulties is what I really mean. Um, let us understand that um, we're not necessarily enemies. Hmm? Fine. I'll take back the hit I got on that guy pointing at the... <laughs> <laughs> is that good enough of a reset? That seems reasonable. I'm sure your daughter will be quite pleased. Yeah, she kind of gives the side eye to mom. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that part had previously not been discussed around the family dinner. <laughs> he, and then Cameron said, said I, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that was that much of a hard case on this. And she seemed to like, and then she's just like, hush you. <laughs> this is business. All right. I take back the hit. What else? I think. Oh, I, I got one. I got one thing. I'll trade you. You don't stop Sister Evangeline from rebuilding our church. What would you like in exchange for that? We've got a little a, a wee problem with that because uh, whenever the cyber police um, sees us, they they are shooting at us. Um, no room for diplomacy there. Well, How don't I'm know not? about the first time you're shooting. The last time they were shooting is because I paid them to shoot. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> but a house of now, God is a house of God. So we could not interfere with the rebuilding of the church if I am given access to preach there. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's great. Done. Done. We'll figure out a sermon schedule between you and Sister Evangeline. That'd be fine. No, I don't care if they if you get you know if you got to Rosie's and they throw you know throw down. You can throw down with them, but you don't stop them from rebuilding the church. And I'm good. Look at the others in a you know is this okay? Yep. Kind of a way. <laughs> but if I get the nod from everyone, I says that seems perfectly acceptable. Let us uh, have uh, an open form of faith and let the people decide. Okay. Oh, will I be able it's to not... preach like oh, too? <laughs> Starting a road. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Here. Wow, because you've got, you might as well try. You might as well try. You get the negative four outsider bonus, but she's vulnerable now, so you're at a negative two. Give it a shot. If any time she's going to agree, the good Catholic Irish, Irish Catholic that she is, is going to agree to having a Dino's preach in her church, now's the time. Give I've it a shot. Two supporter cards. Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this will be to rely on charisma. Here we go, which is six. Well, hey, uh, you never <laughs> Oh. Very nice. So if you spend a supporter card, that puts it up that puts it up to a, a good result. Oh, I meant minus uh, that's that's excuse me, that's without the minus four. Right. Wow. So um, so she's at a ten if you spend the I mean she's at at an eight if you spend the supporter card, you'll be at a, at a oh. thirteen. Supporter is down, so she's good success. She goes. And have somebody with a tail come in and say they're going to preach the good, good word. <laughs> that takes you some moxie. <laughs> so, you know what? Sure. We'll split, we'll split it three ways. You, uh, Severin, and Sister Evangeline. And Tamara goes, hey, she's not going to do that. <laughs> and <laughs> Lori looks over. I'll leave that to me. She'll take the deal. Leave that to me. And she goes, is this something I want to know about? He goes, you know you don't. I'll tell you, though. No, nope. that's good. I'm good. I'm good. And is there 10? She looks, Lori Moran now looks very happy. It's like, so is there anything else I can get you? Maybe I... candy some whiskey for the road? It's not going the way I thought it would anyway. Maybe uh, we could... Um... We we could arrange a new trade route 
for you uh, with the Delphi Council in exchange for a um, permanent Delphi Council installation? Um, we figured the Scots had the Delphi Council angle figured. We're looking for alternative suppliers. So we're happy with the arrangement. Hmm. Now, I don't see how that could really hurt. We keep the infected coffee out. We're bringing in more goods than the Scots can on their own. We don't even have enough food yet as it is. I don't want to rely on the Delphi Council to keep this town running. Yeah. Let's, let's draw our business to a conclusion for today. I think it's been extremely productive. <laughs> we wouldn't want to take up any more of your time. I would. I would like to destroy this bad coffee. True. So I uh, assume that pour, I assume hot, that you... pour hot water over it. Isn't so, that how you make coffee? It is in this country. <laughs> so they can, they you know, they'll just toss it in one of their in their barrel fires that they've got going outside. They'll burn it. Do you want any as samples, or are you just going to burn the, the whole thing? No, I just want to make sure that they don't keep it and use yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do we? Wait. we need something for uh, for the Delphi Council to... Um, oh, yes. We we'll take a small sample, sample to analyze. Yeah, that's yeah you, take, you take enough to give you a few, you know, you take like 12 ounces. That's enough for like six samples. You'll also be fine. Burning it, maybe not the best idea because it might get into the air. It might. But I wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, I at what point? At what point does an infection die? How hot does it have to be? Mm. It's probably engineered to survive boiling water. <laughs> Is it engineered to survive four hundred and eighty degrees? Probably not. That's probably safe. So, having Fingers. almost <laughs> undone. The entire train wreck of diplomacy from the prior two episodes. And are moving into the positive. What would this heroic, glorious group of Storm Knights like to do next? We still have a demon problem to solve. Yes, we do. Right, that guy that looks like this. And maybe we should go to uh, to, to the camp, kind of a um, Baker Corporation or... If we're investigating the demon, is it yeah, the but... high school we should be looking at? But now we know the demon didn't kill anyone. Hmm. The coffee did. It's a demon. I really do think we should look into it. Or oh, it's certainly something supernatural. Yeah. Well, something is still killing people, so well, we still the, need to... The biggest threat is the coffee. And this virus. So... I've assumed we've left the Morans. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're not discussing this. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, like, wait, wait, even. Uh, <laughs> bye. Yeah. But it is it is peculiar. This this demonic uh, face appears, and the same evening the doctor dies. Yet reeks of this coffee. It's it's very peculiar. Not to forget, some, someone ordered a, a rocket strike on. On, on our us, yeah. spot, maybe not on us, but on our spot, we should uh, pay some um, courtesy visit. And that was Canva, wasn't it? So, yeah, it would seem likely. All fingers point to Canva. Now that we're out of the range of the Morans, I will fill everybody in that the what I realized about the demon having the stench of the tainted coffee. Right, that's another tick for Canva. It's a bit of a strange wrinkle. What were the circumstances here? The first exactly demon that do? they slew, they they killed the first demon that was that had been known to be killing people, and it was the demon killing people that yeah. time. They killed it in the abandoned Kanoa base, base, and he remembers the base just reeking of that coffee smell when he now knows he can identify. It wasn't the demon. It was the actual base that just reeked of that wow. smell. I wonder if the demon is attracted to that particular scent for some reason. I wonder if there would be That's any way of setting up something that would draw the demon to us. Well, we if only you had a sample of, of infected coffee. <gasps> Wait, you do! Oh yeah, we do. I still have some. We could lay a trap. That's an excellent idea, Mara. 
We have the sample that we got from Dawn Striker as well. Mm, we yeah. do. Yeah, well, Pitkey, if you know, if you know, if you if you mash up a few of these beans, I mean, one ounce mashed up, spread around, is quite aromatic. I mean, it gets pungent. So, uh, where would you like to lay your demon trap? Well, Preferably in the, the corner zone, like, and somewhere we can set up an ambush. Yep. So we're not near in the same okay, town so... as folk. Exactly. Okay. There's there are. I mean, this town is only about twenty five percent occupied. There's plenty of vacant buildings you can set up a trap. So if you want to have, you know, it's in a, you know, a cul de sac. And you put it in the middle of the cul de sac. You guys can all be hiding in the buildings. That's possible. You want to do oh. it in the forest. That's possible. If you want to ambush it by the, I mean, pick your spots. I've just preferably. Sorry. Is he gonna recover? Is he gonna recover the smell because it's inside him? He... You mean uh, our our realm runner? Yeah. Uh, the wolf gives him a sniff, sneezes. You don't know. Hmm? Okay. The wolf sneezes when. It sniffs the realm oh. runner, but that's not the way it's reacting. That's not the way. Hmm. Sorry, please go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, are these the same things though? Yeah. Not sure that they are. No, we're just taking infection for infection. Could be two different infections. Great. <laughs> well, you're the. Wolf definitely doesn't react the same way to okay. the Roman as it did okay. to the coffee. Right. And if Moonwalker, you gonna gonna sniff your friend? <laughs> yeah, I think I will. All right, go ahead and make a fine test. You get a plus two modifier. You know what you're looking for. Ten. So, no, he doesn't smell at all like the infected. That's good. He does. He does smell different than the other humans in your party, though. But mm. doesn't mean anything mm. to you. It's good news then. Your your problem is an entirely unidentified one about which we know nothing at all. Yeah. There we go. Progress. Interesting. I'd say. I'm still behind the uh, taking the arm off. But... But, um, <laughs> the place for the ambush. Be... The place for the ambush uh, should be a, in a core zone. To give us some advantage. Yeah. That would give some of us an advantage, not all of us. <laughs> no, Corazon gives us advantage. Per se. <laughs> what are so our what, options? Well, basically, you've got a small city so you, on the Oregon coast. So you have basically coastline with ocean, you've got rivers, you've got forest. You've got cul-de-sacs. You've got a downtown stretch that will be empty at night. So you've got the large warehousing and fish processing plant stuff there. So you have, you know, basically, you name an environment, odds are it's there. Okay. Maybe in an in a abandoned um, warehouse so nobody else is um, in danger. Yeah. Yes, if it has a high vantage for our um, shop shooters. So you could find a, like a multi-story abandoned building. That is what you've got. Okay, the best one for that would be the casino on the western edge of town. So where the <laughs> it itself, and stuff. It? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, and there really is one there. So yeah, you just go to that. Nobody uses it. It's, it's been shut down. It's out of the power grid. And you can just, you know, set up your sharpshooters on top, you know, clear out of space from the wrecked machines, you know, put it on a Baccarat table for all you care to, so it's like right there, and set up your ambush. Nice. That's, uh, that's a boat, uh, there's a uh, ground under electricity. As a courtesy, we should also notify Sheriff Ocampo in terms of what we're about to do. Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> So you go in the walkie, and he's like, let me guess, the donuts are infected too? <laughs> no. Not yet. The good, news is, well, the good news is that there is a pellet of uninfected coffee uh, that uh, we've managed to sort. So you should still have at least some. 
Ah, well, that, well, that's two good news you give me today. I appreciate that. You gave me a cyber cop and you gave me uh, some coffee. So what can I do for you? Oh, didn't didn't one of the Morans say that she asked the cyber cops to kill us? Yeah, yeah she did. But it's totally fair. Laurie um, Moran asked the cyber cops to kill you? <laughs> Uh, to be honest, given our past behavior, it's sort of an understandable reaction. Yeah. Um, that's well, not the reason we're calling. I mean, let's focus on the good news. Oh, which... that's not the reason. You've got a better reason than that. Excellent. Well, the good news is the coffee, uh, and the good news is is the miscreant. Um, unfortunately, um, we might be setting up a demon-based ambush. We are hunting a demon. It's actually good news. We mm. have a plan mm. to ambush the you, demon. You won't be doing this in a populated area, right? Of course not. Okay. Believe so, it or not, about that. when it goes I south, be will be, when it goes south, will you be calling, screaming for backup, or can I just turn the radio off and hope everything goes right? If we need backup, you won't help us. Excellent! So I'll just... Turn off the set. Uh, when are you about to have the ambush? That's a bit of an imponderable. Um, but uh, it will uh, be at the casino. The ah, okay. Yeah, you're going to be about two and a half miles out. Yeah. If the demon really wants to come into town after that, okay. Yeah, fine. That's probably about as safe as you can get. I've forgotten how it worked, but we had a time frame for that. Uh, was it? Always after midnight, uh, we, 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 we realized that, that there was a connection. Yeah, there's a connection. It's, it's yeah, the, like the night. you know, from the from the smell of the body, it looked, it sound, it looked like it died sometime between 3 and 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, early morning. So, we have time, we should go by the high school. I would like to smell it. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> it smells like in <laughs> spirit. That's right. <laughs> well, I am I I am curious to know if that tainted coffee stench exists there where the demon was seen. True. It, okay, so we know there's a hidden lab in there. Yeah. So this it's a pretty simple, you know, from from how many operating security cameras does the high school still have? Oh, two? Well, I'll <laughs> go sniff both of them. So and neither of them has Smells anything like coffee. Okay. No coffee at all. Okay. Whilst we're there, let's just have a, you know, if we've got the time to have a kind of a quick bit of a search around. We've identified the two security cameras. Therefore, the team must have appeared kind of, you know, to move into frame near one of them. So mm -hmm. if we can uh, find anything else, then good. If we can't, then I guess we move on to the casino. Sure. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Gee, it is torque, so I can't say there's nothing there until you roll, because you know. Yep. Sometimes people roll glory when they're being attacked by drones. <laughs> <laughs> so, go ahead and uh, give me give me a find or evidence analysis roll. Just everybody roll and see what you get. Uh, I'm favored. I'm going to reroll. Okay. Because roll twenty. That's more like it. Oh. There's an 18 in there. Okay. So, and that was from the Renegade Cyber Priest. Yes, yep. yes, there it yes. is. Okay. The um. The <laughs> five one. <laughs> the Cyber Papacy has the concept of the wilderness, you know, where all the bad things happen. And they have all these lists of occult signs of all the bad things that happen when they're in the woods. Um, and the grass that is coming up from the asphalt cracks, after a while you notice there are like six or seven varieties here. That's not the way grass usually works. <laughs> it's like... So something you would, if you had to guess, you'd say the perversion of nature that would be a demon came from that spot of grass. Point point this out um to everyone uh, i guess particularly uh uh moonwalker 
uh, Mara and possibly our other counter as well. Um, these are the signs that uh, the cyber church uh, teach are associated with demons. You see the grasses of an abomination. <laughs> so it seems to be emerging here. You're the expert, you should know. Right. On the matter of demons, we're going to read the cyber church off and right, although there is something dark at the heart of it, I think. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. Does anybody have conjuration magic? <laughs> I don't think you do, but I don't remember the characters that well. So I'm assuming no, but that no. would be that would tell you what, what's going on here. So something's going on here. It's definitely here. It's definitely demonic, and that's probably where the demon showed up. So that's what you know from that. Mm -hmm. So. So is it ambush time? I guess so. Yes. But it's I mean, yeah. One more question, um, again, to, to the group. How much bait do we wish to leave if we leave some evidence of the casino here as well? I think the human phrase is a little goes a long way. Hmm. Then we will keep things simpler. All right. That's good. We can also test a hypothesis that way. Are we off to the casino then? Yeah. Just do a montage to wipe away the next six hours. So it's around 1130 at night and you've. So who's on the second level for a range shooting vantage point? Who's on the ground level where the table is being level. set up? Second level. I'm good at shooting. <laughs> second level. Ranged. Second ranged. Level. I'll be at a reach. Ranged. Shield, second. Will I? From second. second level. Okay. What about hmm. you'd be you'd be yeah it'll be too far yeah i mean you you might get it at the beginning but if it moves anywhere you're gonna come downstairs to I, hit I'm, it. I'm just gonna like go behind like a, a table or something you've got you have plenty of discarded discarded yeah. you know one arm bandits that you can just pile up and just be behind keeping yeah. a line of sight on the table so we have two below and four three above below. is that oh three, three below. below it's 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 a demon uh, I will be. Um, um, <laughs> it is God's will that I get up in its face. Okay. Yeah. So Excellent. we have the cyber priest. Okay. Oh. Do we have a new uh, a new scene and can refresh our cards? You may. Do we uh, discard to five? You you discard down to five, yeah. And can we exchange one card? You may. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I don't need a willpower, but maybe I'm getting something better. You know what? I'm going to just get rid of yeah. this card for now. <laughs> 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 no, it's the best card. <laughs> I played it on a Russian horror in our last game. It was great. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the casino smells like mold. Nobody's been here in a long time. You know, so you arrange the ambush. You find the, the right felt covered table you're going to smash the coffee beans are. You set up position, you know, leave out your bait, and you wait. There's you know, a little bit of yawning stuff after a while. Then you see the felt on the table start to spiral up like it's growing and it takes the same shape as the grass did by the high school mm -hmm. and this thing appears on top of the table oh i'll just get it Little thing out here. So there are uh, three cards left on the table. Um, could you uh, take them away? Uh, I, I don't see them. Where are they hidden? Oh, there they are. They're all the way over there. Got it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. 
So this is about the correct relative scale. Oh. So there, the bad guy is. There you are. Look, oh, does wow. it look like the like the hat uh, on the uh, video footage? It sure does. Yep. Okay. It looks like it's wearing lamellar armor. Because we don't want to shoot the the wrong demon, don't we? That's right. You only want to shoot the correct demon. You don't want to have demon prejudice. <laughs> so, and uh, it's looking around, and it's sniffing. And it sniffs the coffee, and then it starts to look like it's getting an itsy bit annoyed. So we'll flip over. And it's a dramatic encounter. You guys it, get to go first. It, it, being an break. Do we have surprise? You have surprise. Cool. This is not what it was expecting. <laughs> so I am with uh, I'm with Sekhmet and Severine. So do either of them look like they're going to attack? Because I will I will cast strike on your. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. Weapon. I'm gonna throw a shield right at his head. There, so we'll Let's just do it like zones. Oh so yeah, that's there, there, there. Are you um, upstairs or down? Uh, or uh, yeah, you're or, upstairs. I'm just gonna assume that the action pool line is where all. Yeah. So you guys are there. Right? So how many know, people? Okay. How do you do you make the a strike is only for for melee weapon or, or is it is it for fire combat too? Strike is for melee, I think. Oh, um, melee. We have surprise that yes. so we've got cards in our pools, yes? Yes. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> you have to put a card down in your pool, and then you get to go first. The, the demon might feel, might feel unhappy, I'm just guessing. Casting strike on Segment's shield. Nice. And I will Out cast and... Ward Enemy uh, for uh, the uh, three of us uh, uh, down there. Um, the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and he shall preserve thy soul. Um, let's get that going. And at the same time, because I'm doing that, that's the Inspire. Yep. So one possibility, a draw or... Free shot, not that we need. Oh! Uh, I am going to take the possibility. Yeah. Same. In the possibility. Roll the ward. And likewise. Yeah. Ooh, dearie me. I am going to spend a possibility on that. Um, yeah, okay, well, that gets it means it works. All right. Um, there is a, a glow from the crucifix, uh, plus one to defenses for people within five meters. Um, I will generally be mm, keeping within that five meter range of the competence if they get hand to hand with the demon, but for okay. the moment, we're, we're not. Okay. Who's next for the heroes? All right. Uh, shield to the head. Let's do it. Sh shield to the head. Great gave you plus three bonus to damage. Nice. Okay. Let's just make sure I hit first. Mm. So it's dodges of 15. Well, I have plenty of possibilities. Let's do it. And that's really 13. Oof. Wow. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so that's, uh, if you, if you get up to uh, 25, you'll be at an outstanding. Uh, well, good thing that I have an adrenaline in play. Because missile weapons is off dexterity. There you go. There we go. I'm going to use that. Oop. So you need at least a 15 to hit it. 
Yeah. <clears throat> right, so damage. And bonus dice. Uh it's outstanding, right? So it's two. Yep. And plus three on top of this. So that is 27? 27 damage. Huh. You know what? I'm thinking soaking would be a really good idea. So I'll just roll. I'm so glad I got rid of the nemesis then. Oh, but I'm still wounded. I can't get rid of them all. Okay. Um, so I have a wound. It howls and draws what looks like you know, a sword made entirely out of lightning. Okay. And looks with pure hatred at the Nile hero. <laughs> you we'll side with death. All right, fire away. But it's still not its turn. I will spend a possibility on that. All right. Since we have them. <laughs> 17. Okay, so that's a hit. So that is just 13 damage. Okay, so that's basically going to do a bit of shock to him. That's a hit. So next, I'll go. Hmm? Well, that calls for a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little okay. better. You're one away from a you're one away from a good result. You yeah. take up by your leadership. It's in your pool. You you can play it at any time. So you could play if you have a plus uh, a a card that gives him plus three. You can play it into his pool. Yeah, so could I play, for instance, leadership and give you a, an adrenaline and a drama and then refill my hand? That would be lovely. Cool, you absolutely I will could. do that. I'm dropping adrenaline and drama to the table. There you go. Uh, leadership. Great, Let's thank blade. you. I'll, I'll spend the adrenaline. Okay, then you get to add a bonus die to your damage. Nobody taking the drama? Okay. I was going to give both the same person. You can give it to the same person. No. All right. I'll just, I'll just take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Next. I'm going to shoot him and do a flurry. Okay. So, first shot is, so uh, where is it? Here it is. And I'm spending the possibility because I want to hit it really good. All right. Um, 19. So get an 18 altogether. All right. So it means you're two away from having a good result. <laughs> Thing is tough. So that's not a okay. good result. I don't I'll, uh, I'll play a leadership here. Okay. And so what's the what's the well greater what's the well greater saying to to urge the troops on? Yeah. Got anything you? Do you want to play the action into my pool? Yes, yes, I do. Fire okay. at the mech, buddy. <laughs> I, I play the action at once, so I've got a good result. So you need do the good. 
So I can give him one bonus die. That's correct. There you go. 19. Ow! Okay, <laughs> um... Yep, I'll spend again, because I really don't want to start <laughs> my first round at negative, like, billion. Okay. <laughs> and I've got another round, but... Uh... I fail! Excellent! <laughs> Sorry. So it spins spins around when those two bullets hit it. Sorry, and, like, sorry, poor demon. Realizes it's getting hit from the balcony. So, sir, looks at the Nile Hero, looks at the balcony. It's obvious it's got a decision to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that is that everyone? Uh, I've got a, uh, a plate of flurry, so I... All right, go ahead. <laughs> go another round. Um, another fire combat. And another possibility for that fire combat. Um, and it's a 17. Which is three away from a good result. Doesn't matter. Would I've got like a coup de grace. I've got a coup de uh, I've got a coup de grace. That's uh, probably the same. <laughs> okay. Um, and the only card I can exchange. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want me to use my hero card? Or no, only a supporter could help. Oh yeah, I don't have that. Okay, so <sighs> your damage is a fourteen. Okay, so you you nick it for a possibility for a uh, fatigue, and that's everybody. So now I get to go. I've made up my mind. You guys are. <laughs> You guys suck. I hate you all. <laughs> all right. Uh, but I took a good three to ground, and I leap up to the balcony. Ooh. I have free multi-attack, so I'm going to use it on all three of you. Okay. Yout. And this I thing is all leap. head and no legs. They can leap. And then I'm at a negative two, but my bonus... Goes out, so I'm back to a zero. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad result. No. And I'm going to spend a possibility because I don't see hanging around very. Yeah. Do it. All right. Oops. How about I rolled an 18 instead of a 28? That's probably fair. Yeah. How about I play opponent face? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> okay. It's right there. So I will, and I'm going to spend a, my, well, I've got one more possibility. I'm spending one possibility to cancel that. Okay. So I'm a demon. Okay. So, but that puts me down to one possibility. Ha! Somebody but, still has an opponent face but, lying around here. The lightning sword grows until it becomes like a two-hander, and he swings that lightning arcs from the tip through the three of the storm knights on the balcony, doing a total of thirty-one. So what are people's def so what are people's defenses? Not enough. Twelve. Okay, so that's okay. going to be three over. No, eleven. Eleven. So yeah, just eleven. Some... Okay, so I'm I'm maxed out basically. All right, here we go. Oof. I get. Yeah. Is this a dodge right. or is this a melee attack? It's a melee what? attack. <laughs> oh. Sorry, but <laughs> okay. So he can't get that for a bonus. He just has to go for the damage. Yep. That's really disappointing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 26 points of hello. So what are people's, what are people's toughness? Eight. Eight? Eight, uh, eight, and... Nine. Nine. So basically the same. <laughs> All right. A squishy so, range characters. Yeah, yeah, that's three wounds. That's three wounds and six shock to the lot of you. So, Anybody soaking damage? Yeah, oh, cool. yeah. Let's, let's. All right, go ahead. 
Uh, I can spend an additional possibility on that soak roll, and I will. You may. Okay. And so I'll you take spend an two wounds as a result. Can I play Ooh, action, action to, to boost to it up. There you go. So you get rid of two wounds. Realm Warner got a, a 21. Well, there you go. Should be enough for everything. Yeah, you just... Yeah, you just shake it off. Um, I, I, love the the demon. Demon. I love it's a demon. So are you going to uh, spend a possibility there, Relic Raider? I'm uh, spending my drama card. Fair enough. And the demon's like, Why are you siding with death? What? You're siding with the disease! Um. Nope. Okay, seventeen. <laughs> so you got two. You got two. So you one wound. So we have one wound on the warden, one wound on the reliquator, and nothing, nothing on the realm runner. We go to the next round. I think. Oh we my gosh! Try some diplomacy. Yeah. To be fair, I did just like it appeared, and I just smacked it in the head. So we <laughs> didn't I even ask it anything. <laughs> Yeah. And, you, you, and you smacked it in the head really, really hard. So, you know. The villain the goes first. first, though. Defend and taunt. Can I, I just check? Because there's a oh. rule I'm unfamiliar oh. with. Um, Proof action last round? Say what? What was approved action last round? Oh. oh dude. Could I get the card back? Woo! It was def it was defend, no. uh, attack and taunt. Ah, I get a card. Attack. Like, yeah, no. you attack the card. Do I get two cards because it was two actions uh, to uh, this flurry? No. <laughs> Can I just check? Okay. Uh, run into a rule I've not it's encountered before. It's sure. Often asked. <laughs> and um, opponents can spend a possibility to negate an opponent's fails. No, he has a special ability. Thank you. He's a he's a, a demon with a special type of ability. It's, oh, well, it's also clues to what's happening here, but he's a demon with a special ability. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yes. The answer is no. You can't just spend a possibility. Because yeah. That's a question he, often asked and um, very seldom answered. <laughs> yeah. He, he basically has a special ability that he must spend a possibility for to activate. Which is basically a general, I can negate a player card for a possibility. So Nice. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's fairly hefty, or it felt hefty before he got pummeled by some some folks last round. I'm a tough demon. Ow, 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 band-aid, band-aid, band-aid. Band -aid. <laughs> so, um, can, I, can I go first with a taunt, which might get us some more information? Cool. Um, well, <laughs> unfortunately, the villain goes first this oh, round. Go first, my uh, not if I seize initiative. <laughs> oh well, then okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, do we like? Did we like our last card? We should. Uh, uh, the heroes were inspired. The villains. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's go back to the last card. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you like you definitely like that better than having him go. For <laughs> so, this lightning arcs through the three on the balcony, and then it questions why you're helping the infection. What are the heroes doing? Maybe we should talk. We should use some diplomacy. Um, we brought an elf. Invite him over <laughs> for some pasta. So, if people are okay, I'll go for. Uh, can I go first with a taunt? You go may go for a small taunt. sort of diplomacy. Um, so, uh, yelling up from below, kind of stepping out slightly, keeping within five meters of the other, uh, holding the cross. Um, uh, Severin uh, will, will say, whatever your actions, whatever they, you deem them to be good or just, your very nature shall not be suffered to live. We will destroy you. Um, but really just kind of stepping out and saying, hey, look over here. Big glowy thing. Um, more of a taunt that way. But really, it's just trying to provoke him into some action. But let's, let's well, well, he's not speaking for everybody. Uh, he's, he's probably biased. Yeah, the the bad news for me is that his, unlike his physical defense, his taunt defense is nine. 
Okay, well, let's find out. So that's a taunt. Uh, I will uh, spend a possibility. Eighty. <laughs> so well, uh, that's that's one away from an outstanding. <laughs> I have. Uh, um, I'm going to keep that. Actually, okay. Anybody who's up for the next uh, for the fight, trade me uh, an action card or something to take it to outstanding, and you've got a lovely, lovely opponent fails on the table. Hmm. Anybody? Um, no. okay. is, somebody, it, is it charisma? Somebody is a hero card. Yeah, there's, it, the only trade in play is the hero card. So yeah, I can give you the hero card. Okay, swap. Is that okay? Yep. Sure. Great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's uh, possibility that then. That should do it. I have a ridiculous amount of hero cards. I don't know what happened to my deck. Right there you go. <laughs> That's the outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, that would be one of them, their players call on a taunt. Um, so, what to little be... extra effect would you like this poor demon to have? Uh, mostly, I'm kind of actually into making it very vulnerable because. Okay. Uh, but in addition, uh, I would like it to run its mouth a little bit. If you see what I mean. <laughs> so... Actually, kind of. But, yeah, it's going to I'll, I'll, the way I'll say that is it must multi-action to monologue during its turn, <laughs> <laughs> and if it <laughs> and if it isn't enraged by a great deal of attacks, that's all he'll do. So if he's attacked, he'll fight back, but he's set to monologue. He's primed to monologue, and he's still very vulnerable. Who right, would like to right. go next? Right, we, we just need to oh, talk to it. Do we want to kill him, or do we want to uh, try some diplomacy? Diplomacy, and not the grenade type. So, I'll let the elf go first. <laughs> the elf, elf, the elf elf has no ads in diplomacy! <laughs> <laughs> do you just see pointy ears and, and see him? Oh, well, they, they can talk to people. <laughs> Uh, the elf is going to do a thing uh, which I think I can do called waiting or hold, like uh, the equivalent of holding my turn. Yeah, if, I, it, if I take it, a minus it, two later, I can wait. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so basically, what I, I'd like to do is is uh, knock an arrow and back away from it a, a little bit, and uh, yeah, if, if it attacks one of us, then I will fire. But I want to hear right. it talk for a bit first. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess I started it, so I'll 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 say, all right. Okay, so you're against the disease. Is that why you came here? Because you smelt it. I have been summoned to eradicate that. So yes, I came here. Because of that smell. And I don't think I was summoned to kill a Baccarat table. <laughs> well, he does what a Baccarat table is. Um, Who summoned you? Nothing human. That's really all I know. Showing up amid wreckage. This one command. All right. I'm putting, I'm lowering my shield to show that I'm not going to attack. And who is Hatumi? <laughs> uh, well, that was a companion of ours. <sighs> She's supposed to be my inspiration. I doubt the likeness is close. Nothing that this summoner does seems close. But tell me, you carry the disease, but aren't for the disease? We're investigating it, and we thought you were behind it. 
That's why. Ah, uh, I have read that many co-earthers investigate things by putting them on felt. Good job. <laughs> but we did make you appear, so we have learned something. Yeah. Point to the other one with a gorgeous tail. I like you. <laughs> it's just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry I hit you with a shield, but we thought you were behind it. And to be fair, mm. the last place that you were seen, someone died. Yes, and before she could turn, I pulverized her. She won't come back. Oh, before the disease could take its hold. Yes. Right. So you basically Little saved her back. from turning into whatever. Yes. Okay. That's my job. I don't know for how long. I don't know at whose behest, really. Except that he's somewhere underground. I would love to find him. He and I need words. <laughs> you know what these people turn into? Or would turn into? Yes, I believe I do. It's a, a new type of young she. More powerful, wise, but yeah. more easily commanded, less insane. More usable as troops. So it looks a lot like Karabas behind the thing. You said you were you summoned by. I, I motion to Severin. Go ahead. No, you see, yeah, you are but a tool, demon. We will have words with your summoner, Moonwalker. Yeah, so it Who? bows. I am absolutely a tool. Takes one to know one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, the oh, integral uh, integral uh, laser pops out of Severin's <laughs> wrist. <laughs> I, I step in front of Severin. <laughs> I say, you said that your summoner was underground in a literal mm -hmm. sense? Or... And I, I look at mm -hmm. everyone's I'm like, metaphor? Is that the word? Metaphor? I've never really been one for metaphor. Too confusing. I mean, there's earth atop him. Mounds and mounds and mounds of earth atop him. Yes. He is hey, underground. With, with my back to the demon, I say so not, I like, I mouth the words so not under town. Uh, guys, um, the so Adinos who um, stole the coffee. Why didn't the, uh, the demon? Uh, why, why did the demon not uh, not not? Um, yeah. there. Why, why, why wasn't he it, it attracted by the coffee? Are you directed, demon? You are told where to go and where to appear, or do you simply follow that? Which is made my of first, my first summoning, I was called, but now I'm simply given a task to find the infected and eliminate them. The smell is my surest way of tracking them, for they smell most like that as they're about to die from the infection. Would you, smell it? Would you smell it underground? Would I smell it underground? Would you smell the, the coffee if it was underground? Probably a couple meters, not more than that. Must we parley with this thing much longer? Yeah, yeah, uh, he's got lots of information. And I'm not sure if he's our enemy. <clears throat> he's not our enemy. I suggest as much He's not our enemy today. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm sure there's some passages of your Bible you have yet to memorize. Why don't you go do that? <laughs> I will do so in readiness for our path <laughs> across the again. I'm still not our enemy. <laughs> I'm suggesting that we, as much as the cyber priest is going to hate this, that since, you know, the enemy of our enemy is our friends, 
we propose an alliance for now to track it down track down this i suggest a detente <laughs> in that we all go our separate ways <laughs> and cease our conflict today mm, i hate it when i have to agree with the priest but yes <laughs> wait what brought you to the high school there i was summoned initially yes and signs indicate that Ooh. underground i was not far underground the call came from much deeper but yes i arose from the ground as is my hat have you been summoned more than once across the span of time yes <laughs> you mean at the high school no I mean, the first time I've ever been summoned at the high school. In contractor was that coffee? Uh, was, was that smell? No, this is the first time they've bothered us to have me be an antiseptic, if you were. Usually there's more venal tasks they have in mind. I tend to be a wealth gathering demon, not this. Mm-hmm. But I guess I need to branch out. Diversify our pipe portfolio into the medical field. Maybe that's lucrative around here. You did lose a doctor. Sorry. <laughs> the reckoning for that is not yet done. Oh, talk to the infection. I didn't do that one. In fact, as far as I know, there's only been one demon slaying. The very first one. Everyone else was infected when they died. The first one wasn't. Don't know what wrong there. Hmm. Well, it's been, we... a f- it's been a fun, fun chat. <laughs> and a delightful aroma. So sorry about singeing you, those of you upstairs, but if you don't mind... Uh, so I'll sorry about my... the two wounds. I shot, I shot you. Yeah, well... Maybe we can um, play again. Can call it even. The, the number of teeth he displays is virtually impossible. Hey, this, I, I will understand better next time. As I, will we. I look forward to that. <laughs> so anybody else want anything for the demon, or are you going to let him pop away? Yeah. Is right. the demon all head? Is it? No, it's not all head. It's just that there's there. <laughs> I'm having to use Creative Commons art if I don't own it, right? Sure, sure. <laughs> so he is not all head. I have only two possibilities left, so I would um, would prefer if he went. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so he will disappear, and you're left with a slightly singed bakara table. It's our sample. <laughs> Your sample is is. Completely trashed. Yeah. Okay. Return the god beam laser to its its housing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Who needs some healing? I yeah. do. I wouldn't mind that. Just for a moment. No. Uh, no head no. up there as well. I imagine we mm. can do this between us. Yes. I need pause. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say you. Since you're out of combat, you can take your time. You will heal everybody up because there's no pressure. It'll just take a little bit of time. Yep. And uh, just before the the demon goes, he looks at the relic raider and goes, my parting gift, and then disappears. And you feel something like shift in your satchel. Oh, boy. Let's, yeah, uh, let's see what that's about. All those tablets are now one tablet. <laughs> There's sort of a, like in the middle where there was a missing piece, ghostly phantom bit of writing, but it's assembled in the correct order, which would make the full translation of it just a whole lot easier. Excellent. So, and you also get a possibility for that because you're a relic reader. Mm-hmm. You now have a relic. Congratulations. Cool. 
Okay. It is curious that it has helped you, though. Maybe when he translates it, he'll, he'll get to decide how much of a help that actually was. So, anything else you want to do in the casino? Or are you happy to call it a night? I, I think we can draw a line under it there. Yeah. 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 Right. Is it worth going back to the high school and seeing if we, we can get underground? Maybe. It occurs to me perhaps. that perhaps the people who live underground might be the ones best place to help us find something that is deep underground. Yeah. And they did mention the tunnels that are spontaneously appearing. Exactly. So they would certainly be useful, but doesn't mean you can't go to the high school and see if there's suddenly an elevator to hell. You never know. It is high school. We do now know, look, know more what we're looking for. So yeah, let's do it. All right. So again, is Torg, odds are small, but now for either tracking or find rolls, let's see if the dice favor you. We have a lot of um, <laughs> possibilities. Uh, or possibility that. Yeah, we've got a possibility mode. We've got a roll of 19. Hmm. Hmm. Close. Got yep. anything that can make that a uh, twenty? If we're uh, out yep. of I'm rounds, then I've got a supporter. Uh, actually, yeah, that kind of makes more sense in the fiction. I think if we're both looking around, uh, you know, that's kind of a technological and a, a non-technological way of doing it. So, yeah, okay, you're cool with that. All right. So basically, there's a bit of breaking entering into high school. That's easy. Accomplished. There's no alarm system. Nobody's really going to care. You're looking around, and you go. To the locker room, the coach's office, and then it's like, hmm. An elf knows a false wall when they've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Spiral staircase goes down maybe 20 meters, and it stops being a staircase and just looks like a slope. Hmm. Sure, we're not in the Nile Empire here? <laughs> well, that is unexpected. <laughs> I wonder oh. if this is our route underground. Yeah, let's continue. Does it look like it's been used recently? No. Um, how to put this? The relic raider has at least a suspicion that this did not exist until you looked for it. Okay. Well, then. And you looked sufficiently, vehemently, and with enough focus that whatever was down there created this for you. Are you sharing that? Um, yes, that? definitely. definitely. <laughs> so, um, whatever this... down here wants us to find it is basically. Well, that's not alarming at all. No. I'd say it's an invita invitation. We should use it. I mean, reality is changing around us every day. So, what's, what is and isn't alarming anymore? True. A good point. <laughs> is this the weirdest thing that happened today? No. So, <laughs> might as that well. That is true. We can right, so you're going to head down. Trump, 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 Trump. Okay. It, you know, it can, takes a while. Can we refresh our oh, cards? Uh, fortunately, you're not quite in a new scene. Okay. Don't. I, <laughs> Could have <helped. laughs> So, and it's not a direct descent down. Sometimes it goes back up a little bit. You're definitely guessing that you're drifting sort of northeast, which means if you go a, a lot farther, you'll actually end up under the ocean. <laughs> so, you know, 
there's that. <laughs> so, and uh, after about 45 minutes, we come to a dimly illuminated chamber that looks like the light source is from several sets of writing on the wall. You see Cyrillic letters, Latin letters, Sanskrit, Hindi, all plastered all over the dome of this thing. And as you, all the languages that you can read all say the same thing. And it says, forever, core earth. And that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Because that's what it said on the, on the wall when I was touching it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So you've moved, you've moved ahead by a different path. Of course. <laughs> yes. Thank you for playing. Yeah, there's the, that's, uh, you kind of, I'd say you did the chest knight move. You avoided quite a bit of the plot and just went, <laughs> so that should be interesting to see what happens next time. Oh, no. Thank you very much for running, Greg. Yes, yes, thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you all, players. Oh, that was great. great fun. Yes, thanks. Really enjoyed that. It was great. So we probably have a couple minutes. Any questions you have going forward or things you'd like to note? Mm. Uh, other than a thoroughly enjoyable game with a very generous bunch of players. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Yes. So on the docket for next time, other than I have to make sure to have the uh, translation available for the for the relic raider. I'll get that done for the next session. Um, anything else people have working on the back burner that could be done during the, that was the downtime of today that you're interested in knowing that I can produce for next time? Uh, I think I think the future state of um, warring prophets in the church is is going to be hilarious. <laughs> yes, but that that one was player initiated, so that has to be resolved by player action. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. I just so, yeah, I was more more I, an observation of that. Yeah, the Lamana element of it is brilliant. Yeah, I want to see the argument over who gets Easter Sunday. Cyber paper the reformed church. That would be great. <laughs> I mean, if if neither Catholic faction can decide on Easter Sunday, I can take it for Lanala and. Then nobody can get to that same story. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting end run between two warring bits. It's like here's a viable alternative. <laughs> that was <his> <laughs> <Pope> Mike Knight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Greg, I really like the um, the constant political thread that runs underneath it. It's it's uh, it's really interesting. Yeah, this is. I ran this campaign before I joined Ulysses Spiel to test a bunch of concepts. That org and some which like you noticed Justina Fletcher may have made it into a published product so um this was my this is my test bed for a lot of ideas that I had and I still like the arc of the campaign because there it is the mash of everything <laughs> and the players have a lot of campaign points meaning it's just their choice that decides which way this thing goes so you had the refugees last time, you had talking to the demon this time, you had what to do about the infected coffee, and there's just a lot of leeway for the players to just go, we're going to go here. And then I go, yes, you are. Let's go. <laughs> and, the, you know, and I, I just enjoy running stuff like that. It's, it's good when you've got a creative group. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, that's it. I guess we'll sign off for now. Appreciate you all. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll, 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 well, thank my, you. My takeaway is that I can throw a frisbee up and knock a uh, missile strike out of the way. <laughs> I may find that useful in a future future time of stress. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks to everyone. I had a great time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. Everyone. This was fantastic. Cheers. All right.